contest is on. Opie and Anthony, 877-212-ONA. Don't call now. We'll hang up on you if you call early. Just wait for that sound, and then you call. That's how it works. So you want to talk about Sandra Day O'Connor? Uh, not so much uh, her as her uh, dirty daddy. <laughs> What a filthy man. <laughs> well, let's set it up with the, the fine news story that's coming out uh, right about now. Oh, that was dramatic. Anything didn't work. Uh, well, enjoy the music for another minute. Come <laughs> on, everybody. You know this part. <laughs> is it Air Guitar uh, Wednesday? What day is that? Well, damn it. I can never know the days of the week. Well, it's not working. What happened with Sandra Day O'Connor and the Supreme Court? I don't know why I'm saying the Supreme Court. Like you might wonder which Sandra Day O'Connor I mean. No, no, no. The broad that works at 7 Eleven. <laughs> Thank God E Rock's over there. Thank the Lord. You know, be easy if you threw a Jesus pancake in the CD player. You get it, E Rock? Yeah, the Jesus pancake worked. But He'd catch it like a walrus with a fish. Sorry. <laughs> ah, whatever. So, uh, what, what do we got, Jimmy? She's, her husband has struck up a romance with a fellow Alzheimer's patient after moving into an assisted living center. And uh, they said she's actually happy and glad he's comfortable. Yeah. Uh, which means, go ahead, Burden, do what you got to do. <laughs> which, <laughs> I'm glad you're not, glad you're not wetting yourself on the sofa. Someone else can, uh, yeah, take care of you. I don't have to visit so much. The retired justice isn't jealous about the relationship with the woman. Jealous. Um, she said that the, the dramatic, it, it's dramatically changed the outlook. Of, oh, the son said that it's dramatically changed the outlook of his father towards being at the Huger Mercy Living Center. The focus of the broadcast report is Alzheimer's patients who forget their spouses. Oh, wait. So he's married and the wife is still alive? Sandra O'Connor. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like her father or something. No, no, no it's her husband. Oh, well, perhaps if the story would play, I would. <laughs> he's in an assisted living uh, center, and he just, yeah, he's got a new relationship. Oh, that's there. hysterical. He's now got it's the even Alzheimer's. Funnier. And it's based on what uh, Alzheimer's patients forget their loved ones. Yeah, yeah. they said it's not unusual because that's you're pretty in this convenient. Place. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty convenient. My, my mother's in one of those places for that. Is she really? Every time I bring Bonnie in, she's got. I got to reintroduce her. Because she's just what a pain the in the ass. Yes, that's you know, gotta be. Mother just, she, your mom just wanted to forget she had a son. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else she's okay with. Um, but yeah, it's weird, right? It's they they. She see, the guy struck up a new romance, and she's not jealous. She's like, uh, I'm just. What are you gonna do, right? How oh. awful are you? But you see your golden years being spent, oh. growing old together, and here he is dipping it in a nursing home. Yeah, but this guy, he's still, he's also in love with the dresser, his lamp, and <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> 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 That's true. He had to be quarantined after a fist fight with two eggs. <laughs> He's a fool. <laughs> Gertrude, you idiot. Uh, your wife. That's great. So she goes to visit him, and he's got a, like a raw. He's got a romance. I hope it's a sexually fueled romance. Oh, she come. Hello. Opens the door, he's bringing him something, and then he's just there uh, doing what he remembers from the past, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, the other, his new light, his new girl's on the bed, and he's next to her, and he's humping her shoe. <laughs> he forgot what he's supposed to do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's this woman at the door? Get out of here. Mind your own beeswax, lady. I'm your wife. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I I guess how long ago did she put him in there? I think in two thousand five. That's why yeah, she wasn't that long ago. Supreme Court. Yeah, was to take care of him because he's been a problem for a while. I think. Who knew those places been, were like? Uh, he's, he's been a nuisance for a while, right? Oh, how awful! What, That's got to suck. Just put roller skates on the top of the stairs. Several romances at the center, and people with dementia need intimacy as m much as anyone else. <laughs> dementia. <laughs> That's what you want to hook up with. You also love with the dresser, the lamp, and his breakfast. <laughs> he's, he's a real player. <laughs> oh, he's a he's a tiger. This one, he's had sex with every piece of furniture in this hallway. <laughs> he's an animal.
<laughs> but just how humi- that's got to be humiliating on a certain level, even though you know. I mean, I'm just thinking of my girlfriend, who's you know, we're certainly not that long term, and I'm just like, oh, how embarrassing that would be. You yeah. gotta go there on their birthday and bring them a balloon. Yeah. Meanwhile, they're, they're putting know. their fingers under your nose. Guess who? <laughs> <laughs> Playing guess who? <laughs> Didn't I just have sex with you? <laughs> no, I'm your wife, your loving oh. wife. Uh-huh. I was trying to do the right thing for you She's as you're banging everything in sight oh, when I'm not he here. You know he is. That uh, that disease is just something. Oh, my God. Is there any sign that you can, like, does it build up? Is there, like, a sign? sign that you know that you're the getting light switch. It. One day, all of a sudden, you remember nobody. <laughs> no, you know what yeah. I'm saying? First sign is tiny hands. <laughs> right. And saying cuisine instead of cuisine. <laughs> cuisine. Tortillas instead of tortillas. <laughs> Why, do you think you're starting? Yeah, I forget a lot of stuff. Yeah, but you're also 55 right. years old. So. What's that? <laughs> <Never been right>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're acting like you're, you're, you're Russell Crowe and fucking a beautiful mind. Oh, no. <laughs> just, what, you just <laughs> dropped the F-bomb. <laughs> 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 Jimmy. Uh, isn't that weird? Feeling a bit relaxed today, are you, um, Jimmy? I'm Ken Comfy. Yeah. <laughs> Ken Comfy. Oh, I hope put I was, you in that home. Yeah. Hope I was Donald Dumped. <laughs> oh, I don't know where I am. <laughs> it's a fine line there, Jimmy. Oh. He's sparking up an, a romance with the E-Rock. <laughs> Let's go to Nick in Westport. He's a pretty girl with a big neck. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what's up, buddy? Hey. hey. Not much, man. Uh, yeah. I got, I got a grandmother, and... Um, Actually, my grandfather just passed away, and she, she like, has just got Alzheimer's and crazy, has no idea what's going on. You know, starts calling my uh, my father, Ike, which is my grandfather's name. You go to the freaking uh, Alzheimer's Center, and she's just uh, got clothes on, doesn't know when to take a shower. It, it's just, it's, it's oh, crazy. Horrible. Okay. All you want them to do is go, okay, 36 right. What's the next two numbers? <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> I know. Where's the safe right. deposit box key? Right. Yeah, yeah, Get, give it to me. <laughs> Smacking him. Hey, Ike, do you remember? Yeah. You know, it's like one of those things. There's a case. I read about it in Reader's Digest. So, I mean, it's legit. Of a guy. I forget what he had, but he was a pianist. He was like, I think a musician. He was like a really bright guy, and he married a woman, and he got some kind of a, a like one of those crazy flus you get, or one of those. Oh, boy. And he has a memory, I think, of eight seconds. It's like a goldfish. He resets every eight seconds, and she left for like two years. She stayed with him for years and tried to help him, and she left for years and then came back, and he never realized she was gone. I, I wish we could get. Wow. I read that, that stuff's of course. real, huh? Oh, it's, a, it's terrible. But <laughs> if you can, look for eight seconds. If we can find that. Um, oh, wow. Is it, every is it terrible for the individual that has the Alzheimer's? Probably think? not. It's all new to you. It's, wow, who are you? Probably, yeah. Wow, nice I wonder. Track. You probably don't know any better. <laughs> I think right. people with the like the beginning of Alzheimer's is probably uh, a little, little frustrated. Bad, where you're like, oh boy, yeah. now I didn't remember that. But after you're deep in, eh, who cares? It sucks for the rest of the family. But Everyone's think- still alive to you. It's great. Hey, <laughs> where's dad? <laughs> you know, it's like, nah, yeah, it's years ago. But everyone is who you want them to be. Yeah. Yeah. The big black orderly is just, you know, it, it's Barbara, the first girl you slept with. You don't care. <laughs> right. Hi, Barbara. You know, some guy that did eight yeah. years on Rikers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you, you want to play uh, the Bill clip? We could play that. We haven't played that in a real long Bill. time. Bill. This is uh, going back a while. They Call My Name's Bill is a classic, classic uh, prank call that we, we, well, Anthony did to a, uh, what, Alzheimer's clinic, I believe, right? That's right. We had uh, we had they call my name's Bill lost in the streets and uh, and he called from a payphone to try they to figure out <laughs> how it turned into they call my name's Bill just from that one missed line. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just listen for the missed line in there. <laughs> but, it's, just, but now it's legendary. Names, it's, yeah. now, it's now known as they call my name's Bill. Yeah. All right, here it is. Check this out. Alzheimer's Association. Let me help you. Hello. I had this number in my wallet. I, I don't know where I am. You don't know where you are? I had this number in my wallet. You're lost? I don't know. I'm at a phone booth. Give me the phone number. It's not on here. It's, it's not, there's no phone number on the phone? Let me look. What phone? You're calling from a phone. Is there a phone number there? Yes, there is. Could I have the phone number? I believe it's the 8. 
Hold on the phone. Can you hold on? Don't hang up. Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Who's this? This is Estelle. Can you Hel- hear me? Hello? Don't hang the phone up. Hang up? No, do not hang up. Hold on, please. Don't hang up. I'm going to put you on the phone with someone else. Hold on. Hang up what? No. It's cold. You're cold? I'm colder, yes. I know. Cold like Brazil. Really I'm Where, wet. Do you know? I believe I need a change. Stay on the phone. I'm, I'm wet. You're all wet? Yeah, I'm wet. Okay. Well, you just stay on the phone. I need a change in and my nurse isn't here. And, and do you know I'm going to walk across. Can you are? Can I'm, you tell me the number? Can I'm going to walk across the street now. No, stay on Don't the phone. Who's this now? My name is Judy. What's yours? I call my name's Bill. Bill. Hi, Bill. How Hi. are you? Hi, Sam. You sound a little lost. Gonna walk across the street now. You know what? I'd rather you didn't uh, walk across the street because if you walk I across think. the street, I can't talk to you. Oh, hey! Hey, Bill! Hey! Oh! Hello? Hello? Yeah, are you still there? Who is this, please? This is Judy. Is this Bill? Where's Sam? Sam just went out to get some coffee. I hate coffee! Oh, Sam he- knows I hate coffee. Well, maybe he went to get you a coke, then. He said he was going out to get a drink. There's a cars now, a lot of cars. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cross the street now. You know what? If there are a lot of cars, you shouldn't be crossing the street. All right, here I go. I, I know. can't talk to you I think my home this. is across the street. Here I go. Are you talking on the phone, Bill? Hello? Hello? Oh, we should have called the police while we had him. Wasn't doing good. He's still here. Call the police. He probably was hit by the phone. He did not hang up. He put the phone down. He he dropped the phone. He did not hang up. Oh, my God. Someone call an ambulance. I told you. Ah, this is horrible. My God, he looks awful. Jesus. Who is this? Who am I speaking to, please? Somebody call an ambulance. The man got hit. All right, we're calling an ambulance. Can you give me the address? He's a mess. The man got hit. Leave him down there. Hello, can you give me, tell me where you are? It's too late. It's too late. There's, there's bad spirit all over the road. Can you tell me where you are? It's too late unless you got a shovel. All right, we'll get a shovel. Where are you? It's too late. It isn't too late. It's are too you? late. What do you mean it's not too late? His head is over there and his arms are over. <laughs> Can't help you if you won't tell us where you are. You can't help anymore. Just bring a shovel. Can you tell me where you are right now? Disneyland. In Disneyland. Can you tell me where in Disneyland? Pirates of the Caribbean. And the Pirates of the Caribbean. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. I'm okay now. You're okay? You got all pulled yourself together again? A, a car hit me and I feel fine now. Oh, I'm so glad you That's feel fine, I, Bill. I, you had me really worried. That's all Bill needed was a little bumper. Can you tell me where you are, Bill? Jupiter. Now I'm Jupiter. Planet Jupiter. Is there a street number or a name on Planet Jupiter? 23 Jupiter. 23 Jupiter. 23. Okay, do you live there? Send a cab. Send a, I would happily send a cab, but you tell send me where a to cab. send it. You tell them to make a right at Venus. Right at Venus. And it's Jupiter, 28 Jupiter. 28? That's what I said. Okay. And what are you doing there now? Masturbating. Oh, I see. <laughs> and we're back with the Open Anthony <laughs> show. <laughs> oh, boy. It was by who? Huh? It was Mark Clean by Al Dukes. All right. Ooh. The punchline after four and... <laughs> the punchline after a five-minute bit might have been dumped out. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> is, it, is it official? Is it dumped out? I don't know why they... <laughs> that was... <laughs> That'd be funny if there was a crazy guy just looking in the streets and I said, Jupiter. <laughs> well, that bit played out for five minutes and then the punchline was just... The, you know, out. the punchline's got to be dumped. <laughs> yeah. Even though uh, it was played in its... Uh, in its original form for, I don't know, probably uh, off and on for 10 years. 
(laughs) (laughs) And that context was pretty, yeah. All right, well, what are you going to do? Harmless. Yeah. What are you going to do? It's Opie and Anthony. Rich Voss in the studio. I was, uh, I, I told you about this. We were driving to Delaware. Yeah. And a commercial came on, and it said something like, and then he broke in, he, he you know, molested her, killed her, and he worked for uh, a major, you know, appliance place. And then they cut in and go, well, <laughs> well we put in our heaters <laughs> We do background checks. What they were doing was trying to sell their heaters, but they I, I can't explain it. I know. So you know, the company oh was, was they were selling God. heaters. Yeah, did you hear And that? as part of the ad, they were using a guy from another company who had raped and mole- killed a girl. Did you hear this? No, but I'm, uh, I'm uh, just, I'm 39, so I know how to <laughs> piece the story together. Yeah, <laughs> we heard enough where we could, like, help you out is what uh, and, Jimmy's getting at. And they, they found a way to use a rapist murderer from another company in yeah. their own ad. Yeah. Like, uh, we, would, we won't rape and kill you. We yes. do background checks. <laughs> yeah. That is pretty smart, actually. All right. I Because I, I had no idea where you were going. I was panicked. Maytag, I was won't rape panicked. You. Yeah, you for really, a moment. You really freaked us all out. Thank God Jimmy was able to decipher that. You yes. speak idiot. I, I, I was <laughs> speaking of uh, speaking idiot, we got a little quiz for you. A little, little pop quiz, Rich. This early? Hope you're up yes. for it. Yes. Right. Yes, this early. Go ahead. We're going to find out if you're smarter than a, uh, a fifth grader. Oh, please, where's the fifth grader? Huh? Yeah, where? Well, we don't know. <laughs> Uncle Paul. Well, we got a test, right? This, Vera. this is a test that a, that a fifth grader would take, right? Yeah. And we hand it over to you, and you uh, and you're gonna like uh, answer these questions. Uh, no problem. Don't you think we should have a little more time for this? Yeah, I'm gonna little... give it to you now, and after the break, you should be done. It's only ten questions. You mean well, I have I... to answer them? You're not no. gonna ask them as we go? Now you don't need you don't need to wait. We don't need to wait. We don't have to study this. This is not. Uh, these are all yes and no kind of answers. All right. Finish the following sentence, Rich. I before E except after. I before E except after C. All right, good. Was that right? Out. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, but right. that rule doesn't always work. I hate before. that rule. No, no. It's a dumb rule. It's like, oh, except when I'm spelling something. Right. Then it's wrong and I look like an idiot. I don't idiot. want to mislead anybody. I'm not a great speller. So that was, I just don't want to mislead what? everybody with answering that one. What? I spelled my daughter's name wrong. I got to change her name. Oh, the, no. I, I saw Rich Voss's daughter uh, backstage. He he was part of Dennis Leary and Friends last week. And uh-huh. by the way, Rich was awesome on that stage. Once again, you were Thank great. You. Had a great set. But they went backstage and and saw uh, your Raina. baby girl uh-huh. and uh, said congratulations to Bonnie. And uh, she's beautiful, by the way. Your your baby girl's beautiful. Thank you. And then I found out that he uh, he effed up her name. What's what's her name? Well, see, here's what happened. I was looking up biblical names. Why? And re- you're not I religious. Do, I know, but it's just you're good. You're not a man of so God. How is Ezekiel doing? <laughs> so, 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 God, he called her. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw, well, the first name I saw was Basha, and nobody liked Basha. Basha? Because, Basha. How yeah. can they? Isn't Basha, that, Basha? Like that? Well, Basha, we didn't, I didn't name her. So, Basha. Come here, Basha. It's right on the globe. Yeah. It's where Basha lives. Yeah, Basha. That's so, awful. Wow. Continue. Okay, so Reina. So I saw Reina. Reina's pure. not bad. Okay. Reina. Uh, oh, thank you. So it was R E Y N A. It meant pure and clean. Uh, biblical, pure and clean, you know, Yiddish name. So, like three weeks later, we had the baby and they asked to spell the name. And I just go R A Y N A. So now I have a Spanish queen. Are you the first Spanish queen you've had? <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you supposed to spell R A? Well, I spell it R A Y N A, but I got to go right. change it to R E Y N A at some point. Yeah, well, why don't you go do that um, soon? Uh, it's no big deal. Let's go to Jay in DC. Jay, what's up? Oh, hey, 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 buddy. Hey, uh, I'm a little confused. How is it that if there's no rules against what some of the things you guys say, that they dump out of what you say? I don't get it. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, well, uh, we don't you either. Guys, you, guys say, you guys say funny things, and there's no SEC rule against what you're saying that you're being dumped out on. And, I mean, can't you guys do anything to, to... Well, I'll say this. The one they just dumped... Is an FCC concern? Yeah, I understand that. And I have Don't scream at me, sir. I'm trying to converse with you. Sorry, you're humiliating me. 
Yeah, well, there uh, lies the problem that we're trying to figure out ourselves there, Jay. So I, I don't have an I, I don't have an answer for you. It used to be you just had to worry about FCC regulations, but it's a it's a, it's much more complicated than that these days. There you go. All right, boys, keep it up. All right. Oh, Hope he didn't mention I closed the show last week at the. Uh, speaking. All right, go ahead. Question number two. Uh, what direction do you have to travel to go from St. Louis to Kansas City? I don't a, know that one either. This is a test that a uh, fifth grader would take. From uh, from St. Louis to Kansas City, you'd have to go uh, east. All right. Very good. That's one wrong. <laughs> well, it depends. <laughs> if you're going around the world, you'd go east. That's a long way. Uh, what is the symbol between the parentheses called? It's the symbol that looks like the Procter & Gamble. Yeah. It means... Uh, it, or uh, A-T... And T. It like looks like a General Mills. Oh, it's a General Mills yes, symbol. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. yes. It, it, yeah, it's that thing in the AT&T logo. Yeah. There's uh, a name that, for that? Yes, that the thing. Basha. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> Basha. What is it called? Well, let's go with two wrong. I have it. He just let the pitch go by. <laughs> Ball strike on himself. <laughs> we would have accepted the and sign. What is it called, though? Uh, the ampersand or whatever. Oh, no. That. A fifth grader can't say that. <laughs> well, at least the ones that I've met. All right. Not bad. You're uh, you met, can't one out of no. three. <laughs> one out of three so far, uh, Voss. In dry weight, how many ounces are in a pound? 16. There you go. That's easy, right? Yeah, I used to sell pot, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why he knows. Yep. Ask what? me grams, ounces. All right. Which of the following invention inventions was not invented in China? You got uh, gunpowder, you got cultured pearls, you got kites, and you got paper. One of those was not invented in China. Mm. Oh. <laughs> gunpowder, uh, cultured pearls, kites, paper. Okay. I think I got this one. I know disease wouldn't be the answer. Uh, I would have to go with... Uh, Wait, what? There's a lot of disease. <laughs> How did that happen when no one even pushed a button? I don't know. God did it. <laughs> what are you talking uh, about? Disease. It's not even one of the. Oh, was, I'm trying to get some SARS funny. joke or something like yeah, that. Yeah, thank you. I get you. Uh, it's not one of the oh, choices. Okay, I didn't hear the cho uh, gunpowder, paper, kites. Kites like you fly a kite. Yeah. You are you looking at my answers over there? No, I swear to God, I'm not. I couldn't see that far anyhow. All right. Uh, or what was the fourth one? Gunpowder, kites, paper, cultured pearls. Oh, cultured pearls. Ah. What? That's right. Yeah. I just wanted to be wrong. All right. <laughs> we'll take the second half of the quiz after. I would have said paper. You know, and here's another thing, too. You could, ask, you could ask me any of these Great. questions this weekend at the brokerage, and I guarantee mm. in Long Island I won't get any of them wrong. You really want these people to ask these questions? At the as brokerage? As, no. Are you crazy? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you understand what our fans are capable of doing? So you, you know, answering as poorly as he did. <laughs> So I'm two out of, what am I, two and two? Uh, you have three right out of five. That's not bad. So you're it's barely almost... passing, I guess? No. Is 60 a passing grade? No. Uh, no, it's it's a D. 60. To oh, D. it is. All right, you're around a D right now. We got the last five questions after the break, okay? Pick it up, pick it up. It's Opie and Anthony. It's Opie, it's Anthony, it's Jim Boy. Norton, it's Rich Voss in studio. And we got a $1,000 winner on the line, oh. it's uh, Claudette. Hello, Claudette, how are you? Hi, how are you? Congratulations, you won that $1,000. Thank you. What are you going to do with the money? Um, I'm not sure yet, the holidays are coming up, so I'll probably spend it all. <laughs> all right, good, good luck to you. Thank you so much. Uh, as far as spending the money, I guess, I don't know. Gosh, doesn't sound like a listener. Huh? Shouldn't sound like a listener. Female. Claudette, are you a listener of the show? Yeah, I listen in the morning. Uh, yeah. What do you like about the show? I don't know. You guys are funny. Uh, okay. Claudette, <laughs> you think I just started doing this yesterday? He may have been born at night, but he wasn't born last night. Uh, what do you like about the show? Good one, Jimmy. I, I like you guys. And I laugh at you guys. I get a good laugh out of it. Okay, what's the kind of a bit or something we've done that you like? Yeah, name one thing we've done on the Opie and Anthony show. One thing you've done on the Opie and Anthony show? Um... I liked it the other day when you when you came up with the new idea where you started talking like that other guy. All right, a hardcore. <laughs> you're not even you're not even a good liar. 
No, I listen. I do. <laughs> All right. So if you listen to the show, just name one lousy thing we've done since, let's say, just moving back to New York. That gives you 10 years of material to figure out. <laughs> Almost 10 years. What do you got? I don't know. You guys put stupid people on the show. Like me. <laughs> That's the one thing you could come up with after wow. 10 years of doing this in New York City. I don't know. I'm nervous to be on the radio. Well, yeah. All right. Claudette, I, I would respect you if you say, look, I just started listening because of this contest, and you guys are kind of funny, and maybe I'll continue listening after the <laughs> contest is over. All right. All right, Claudette. Congratulations on the $1,000, <laughs> all right? Thank you. Everything's funny to her. Yeah, absolutely. By the way, I've never wanted to punch someone more than you. Are you talking to me? Yes. What, what did I do? Is it, do, do, do you don't even have to say. You're driving me nuts. Am I breathing into a thing? Are oh you Oh, my breathing? God. All right, all right, I am going to punch you all right, and relax. break that nose in, back into shape so, so maybe some. Maybe oh. we don't hear. Well, here's I can't thing. even do it. Okay, first. It's so hard. To, <laughs> you're going to blow. Don't do that. It's going to come blew, out. Just blow a snot rocket. Oh, God. Okay, how do you breathe? Oh, my God. I want right, to punch I you could, so bad. Please let me punch you in the face. Please. <laughs> don't sue me. I need a punch. Oh, there it is. There it is. You got to be on top of the mic. Here it is. Watch. It won't happen again. You know what it was? You sound like a bull. You know what it was? It was because of the Nicorette gum in my mouth. I was trying to breathe through my nose. No, it happens every time you're here, and you, no. don't, you don't realize you do it. So I'll back up a little. It's not like I'm on the mic every day. I mean, radio mic every day like you guys. We're broadcasting from a, a, a wind tunnel. All right, you want to punch me? Oh, God, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> I won't do too much damage, I promise. I won't, I won't take out your nose or your jaw. Bust your snot like it. You brag about your abs. Let me punch you as hard as I can. Oh, why would I? What am I, crazy? Tell I'm Houdini gonna... died. Yeah, man, don't do that. <laughs> Houdini was actually killed in a bus accident. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> he said that so, uh, uh, as a matter of factly, yeah. like, like it was true. All right, listen. I'm very right. sure. Can I say this? Let's just say I did things last night when I was alone, and it hurts. Ew. Oh no! You mean right there where your hand is? Yeah. Ow. Oh, ow. Chafing. Ow. Why did you um? You did what they dumped out of. <laughs> during that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> during that long, long bit. How long with no take payoff. You? How long Thank you. Take you. How long does it take you to do that? It can be hours. Or it can be. It depends on the what I'm doing and what's what's the mental angle. So really? <laughs> mental angle. Why uh, why a problem today? Because of the amount of time. No, just because uh, I, I don't know. It's just sore. Just sore. When you're done, do you go right to your computer and erase all your history? So Oh, reset on my <laughs> Safari? I have a Mac. Why, do, why don't you just say, Rich, when I'm done, I go to my history and erase everything. Exactly. Like It's like, when you're done, do you do this? Well, you're afraid, I'm not afraid gay sites are going to pop up when my wife goes to use the computer. I think Jimmy's a rookie. Are you kidding me? Of course I do. Reset, empty cash. Jimmy, empty that's... cash. Jimmy throws his... Empty com history. Empty recent documents. Oh, yeah. Believe it. Empty recent worse. files. There's nothing worse then when you're with somebody and you forget that when you go to open like a video, it will like list the other videos yeah. that you've opened. And boy, you have to some quick erasing to do when she's over <laughs> your shoulder. Why not? Let me just close this for a second. <laughs> no, because I'm auditioning for a movie and I'm trying to get the role down. That's what you're telling. You What's the audition. movie called? Tranny <laughs> Follies? <laughs> I'm a big black man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a <laughs> Uh, Jimmy basically throws computers away once a week at this point. <laughs> I was, when I lived with this girl. Just we, to be safe, just to be safe. We bought a box of toys, you know, when I would live with this girl, you know. The, yeah. The, and when she moved out, I, they were still there, and, then I, and I'm looking at it, and I go, I got to throw these out, because if I have a heart attack, and my family <laughs> cleans out the house, they're going to really think I'm gay. You know what I mean? Yeah. They see that, you know, so, fluorescent, you know. Marital AIDS <laughs> marital yeah. around, the, around the house. All right, we got a lot of people listening for tomorrow's sound. So um, we introduced a lot of people to the sounds of Steve. Yes. The sounds of Steve. Steve losing his mind. <laughs> what? This is our uh, oh. our own Steve. Ow. Oh. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh. He so, sounds like a cat. Yeah, so we want to use one of these for the sound of the day tomorrow. Which one you want? This one? <laughs> what? <laughs> this one? This one? <laughs> or finally? <laughs> I didn't realize. 
It, it has to be. It the worst. has to be the worst one, <laughs> which is that one. That that is. Right. It's beyond anything I can even wrap my mind around. This sound will be posted later on O and A Radio dot com. But basically, if you're listening now, you don't need to go there for the sound, I guess. But maybe you missed one during the contest, and mm -hmm. that's where you could go to find other sounds. Um, okay, so we'll play this between seven and seven thirty tomorrow. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh. And uh, if you're the tenth caller, you'll win the next one thousand dollars. Now, Tim, our other production guy, he uh, he's. Uh, He's feeling like Steve might be ripping him off a little bit. There is a similarity. So Steve, uh, so Tim, so Tim put uh, this together and ran it in here just a moment ago. Steve Carlisi does a voice. Oh, I think he's ripping me off. Oh. Why does Steve sound like that? Steve's stealing my thunder. Oh, oh, oh. What? My thunder. Sounds a little like his character. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh. Oh. Then he gets all whiny. Oh, oh God, God no. Come out, and I don't know why. Steve Carlisi. You got to get a producer, Ropey Anthony Show. They should both be burned alive. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's horrid to listen to that. I love it. Just set on fire, like with a match, like with like a little match that you have to hold under them so it catches. <laughs> it's I, terrible. I, I actually love it. Although it's not as good as the Coke Logic thing. Coke Logic took Steve's uh, sound and put this quickie together. Ow, Steve's up. There you go. Coke Logic. His animations are up on ondayradio.com. You're going to want to check that out. As well. You want more of your quiz there, uh, Voss? Yes, I do. Playing the brokerage when? This weekend. Yeah? This Starting weekend. what, Thursday? Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Long Island, Belmar. And here's another thing. I'll take it. My IQ, I'll take an IQ test here. I got a, I'm, I'm 141 on my IQ. You're not one. Oh, for, you're leaving out a decimal point. I'm telling you, I'm 141. <laughs> you're not my 141. IQ. I'll do an IQ test here Is one day. Good? 141. <laughs> it's, I'm, Is 141 good? <laughs> That's uh, great. Yeah, but he's not. I think 150 is genius. I'm 141. You are not 141. If you were 141, then you could pass this quiz IQs, easily. IQs are different than... All right, but, uh, but it's just... Not, all right, here's your next question. Are you smarter than a fifth grader, Rich Voss? This is a fifth grade exam. In square inches, what is the surface area of a cube with five inch sides? Uh, how many inches would that be in square inches? Five times five would be 25. All right. Wait, I don't even know if that's right. Yeah, it's right. Of course it's I, I, mean, I don't know if it is. Of course it's not right. Wait, wait. No. <laughs> oh, wait. No. Five times five times five. No, wait. What you... <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. In square inches, what is the surface area of a cube with five-inch sides? How do you... Oh, 20 inches. How do you know how big it is, though? It's square inches. You, you don't know how big the cube is to begin with. Hold on. Five-inch sides. So you got five times five. 25, mm -hmm. and then times that by five to six. the fourth power. Oh, no, oh. that's right. By six. Yeah. I thought it was Wait. like five saying it had five sides. I, didn't uh, know that I, no, I thought you were cube. saying how many square inches <laughs> in a five by five inch. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, it pretty You're much wrong. is how many square inches of surface area on a five. Uh, on a cube or on a flat a cube oh, with on a cube. cube. Well, it said well cube. let's say it's wrong. 120. Let's say I got it, it wrong. It is wrong. Let's say hi to Sean in North Carolina. Go ahead, Sean. Uh, yeah, 141, uh, boss. That's not your IQ, son. That's your SAT score. <laughs> hey, little Jimmy. Hi, sir. Oh, uh, sorry about that. All right, the next question for you, What's Rich Moss. It was 150. Oh, really? Yeah. No fifth graders get You that have to right. take the 25 and then uh, times that by six, like I said. How do you get 25, though? Five because five times, times five. five. It's a five inch uh, square on each side of the cube. But if it's a square, why would you go five times? Like, but Because it's five inches across and five inches down. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Five times five. 
I'll yeah, five uh, uh, what's fifth grader? A fifth grader goes to like As a, I do this a with my hand for some reason. A school or something gets that, right? Well, yeah, I guess, Rich. You're right. right. Uh, what event took the world to the brink of World War III in 1962? If you um, you oh, that was school, the, Bay, you get this. the Bay of Pigs in, in, in Cuba. Oh, my uh, oh, my. Oh, no, God. the Ru Russian Missile Crisis. With oh, my <laughs> God. We didn't know there was no World War III. Didn't the Russian Missile Crisis last... All the way up until, like, the Cold War ended. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, in 62, when Kennedy was president, yeah. Yeah. what almost brought us to the brink of war, you said? Yeah. World War Three. Almost. Yes. Well, it didn't happen, so it had to be almost. Well, it's yeah. the brink. <laughs> I love how, Saying it's the brink I means how he tries almost. to show his intelligence by going, almost, right? Yes. Almost, almost to the brink. Almost, almost to the brink. So, almost... Brink, isn't that where you skate? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's, what, that's what you do with your eyes. Uh, <laughs> Steve from Bayshore is writing, Voss times dumb times ass. <laughs> it's making a little formula. Yeah. In 1962, what almost brought us to World War III? It had to be uh, uh, the Bay of Pigs in Cuba when... Uh, no, when, it's not the Bay of Pigs. No, no, no it's no, a Billy Joel oh, song. I was born. Okay, wait, no. Bernie six, gets five age crack. Homeless vets. No. Five years old. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You were five in '62. It, it, I think, but you, it, you know, you're now an adult, and you should know what happened in '62. I know it. In '62, mm -hmm. uh, <sighs> Malcolm or one of them. They weren't shooting. Them. No, that. How that would that be World War no, Three? Malcolm in the middle. Malcolm wasn't was assassinated <laughs> by a Russian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you the got? Oh, didn't get him. God. I, think, I love how he this is, comes right on the heels of his 141 IQ. Yeah, exactly. what, what's your official answer? My official? Yeah. Can I your give final you answer. Number? Your final answer. Let's go. My final. Uh, 62. What happened in 62? Oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. The Six Day War. No, that was in. Uh, Oh my uh, God! What was the Six Day War? We're talking about the brink Syria. of World War Three, complete Syria. annihilation of the globe. And you're, and you're naming all these innocuous things. Yeah. That cab driver got robbed in <laughs> Tel Aviv. No, Rich. <laughs> what is it? Can we come back to any of these? <laughs> no. What is it? It's to revisit them. What is it? Come on, Rich. Yeah, I. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was something to do with uh, Kennedy. Mm -hmm. uh, no, <laughs> uh, I don't want to. I don't want. Uh, Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, Rich. Uh oh. Here comes the gong. Uh, you know, um, and when, I hear it, when I hear it, oh, I'm going to go. We'll need an oh, answer. Oh, yeah. that's what's going to happen. It. All right, well, here. It was the Cuban Missile Crisis with Kennedy. Oh. Did you say that? I said that was the first thing I said. No, was it? That was the first thing. Was it? The first one you said was Bay of Pigs. You yeah, said Bay of Pigs. Thing, then you said. The Cuban missile. You said the Russian. No, I said you go play the, the Bay of Pigs was the, not the Cuban different, Missile Crisis. Different things, it's, Rich. It, it, Bay of Pigs was, it was going to invade to get Cuba, Castro out. Yeah. Well, I said the Cuban Missile Crisis. Play the tape back. You said you the Russian Cuban. missile. No, I crisis. said I will You bet said the $200. Russian missile crisis. Two hundred dollars. A bit more than that, because I I know I heard it. I'm just being nice. Russian missile I, crisis. I, I, but I am almost, you got singles in there. Why are you he looking? He said for it wrong money? because he's no. adult. But I think I have to give that one to Voss. He knew what it was. It's yeah. just not. An we're playing, man. by no, we're playing by the uh, the rules of uh, you right. know uh, uh, wheel of fortune. <laughs> I'm not betting. I, could I got a hundred dollars right. Oh yeah, you can't gamble. Uh, it's not gambling. How about it's you? a bet. How about uh, if I'm right, I get to punch you? No, that's and gambling. If, and if you're wrong, I get to. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> do we give it to him? I, I guess we have he to. He just said it wrong. He's a, he's, a, he's not an articulate oh. man. All right, we'll give it to you. That's I mean, But your first answer was oh, wow. Bay of Pigs. Your second answer was Russian Missile Crisis. It is the Cuban Missile Crisis. I, I, I have a non-vote in this. Well, here's what I say. Forget that question. Dissent. Find another question. All right, here. Well, you only got three questions left to see if you could pass a, a, a fifth grade test. What is the verb of the following sentence? The goat ran into the barn. Boom. The beyond... Uh, the goat ran. Ran. Is ran. that your final answer? Yeah, ran. All right, very good. Spell the opposite of vertical. Horizontal. 
I gotta spell it. <laughs> yes, you gotta spell it. <laughs> oh, what, what are these questions? Yeah, I don't know where these questions. Are. I only have ten. I only I know had it, up to ten. It, we jazzed it up because some of those questions were kind of like, yeah, they were lame. Horizontal. I'm sorry, we got a revised quiz. Wait, hold on. Horizontal. Okay. Uh, horizontal. H O R I Z O N T A L. Nope. B. <laughs> no, I can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> I, I gave him the the hand, like the, the hand, hand, like you know. Come on, you're almost there. One more e. letter. He goes e. e. <laughs> Tell me, I love you. I really do. Bonnie's a lucky woman. <laughs> well, I was right though, Harzon. Yeah, we'll give that one to you. I, I effed you up by going. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. And finally, who was the U.S. president when um, World War II ended? Get this right, you'll get a 70 on the test. Either, it's either Roosevelt or Eisenhower. Okay. Uh, I would have to you say. You almost said Eisenheimer, like I Weisenheimer. Said, You're such an old no, man. No, I didn't. I, uh, <laughs> it, was, it was Roosevelt. All right, very good. That's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, not only is it wrong, he was dead. Who? <laughs> Roosevelt was dead at the end of the war. Of World War II? It was, yes. It was Taft, Rich. So, <laughs> oh. so if it wasn't Roosevelt. Honest Abe. So if it wasn't Roosevelt, who was it? Well, the end of World War II was in the... Uh, then it was Eisenhower. Was in what? In the 50s. <laughs> the end of World War II was in the 50s. <laughs> and and right. if it wasn't... If it, it, yeah. So you're now saying Eisenhower, right? I said Roosevelt, and you All right, guys, he was wrong, so you're now saying Eisenhower. Well, why would you give me a second chance? I'm just asking. Uh, yeah, it was Roosevelt or All Eisenhower. Right. Wrong again. Now, now... Who, <laughs> I can't be wrong twice. <laughs> the, yeah, because your choices were both wrong. The war ended with the dropping of, of the atomic bombs. Yeah. Uh, who dropped the bombs? Who was the president that was in office when the bombs uh, dropped on Japan? <laughs> no? Hiroshima Nagasaki. Uh, no, uh, he wasn't the president. Hiroshima Nagasaki was not our president. No, he's the commissioner of Japanese. Who baseball. was uh, the president during? Ouch. Uh, yeah. Why? I, was, I didn't hear it. He was Roosevelt's vice president. Oh, it was what do you call it? Good. It was uh, yeah. one forty-one. Yeah. Go ahead. What do you call it? Go ahead. With the, what do you call it? Roosevelt's vice president. Yeah. Was, yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on. I know you got this one. Our bud I had more brains angle. after the suicide. What's that? Uh, nothing. Go ahead. Uh, Roosevelt's vice president. Obama. <laughs> Give us the answer, Rich. Inside, well, inside of your head, make us laugh some more. Swamp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> As you think about it, Steve from Syracuse has something. Steve, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, boys? Hey. Well, I got to tell you, I was listening in the shower answering the questions, and I think Voss. Originally, was you know he should be doing on. Are you smarter than a preschooler? And I think that if, if I think that if Harry Truman was alive right now, you'd be kicking Voss's ass. It was Truman. It was Truman. I knew uh, that. He just gave the answer. Oh, he was talking about a guy he went to school with, Harry Truman. Yeah. Harry Truman. Was it Truman? Truman. <laughs> it's too late. It was Truman. Was it Truman? Nobody's, Truman. 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 Nobody's really big on Rich, congratulations. Tribute. By the way, Steve, wanted... he's probably one of the more memorable ones being the one that, you know, dropped the atomic bombs. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> that, that, be, Truman. That, that didn't actually bombs. end World War II. Oh, it didn't? It did. Boy, and quickly. It didn't. I mean, what was the World War where uh, was Germany was going and taking, a, you know, just out of control. That, that was, was World, World War II. II. Korean okay. War, Rich. That was World War II. Yeah. And World okay. War I. And then what was yeah. the war where the Japanese were involved and we dropped two atomic bombs? That was World War II where they got, they hooked up with Germany. Very good. Okay. Uh, but. But. Oh. Germany. <laughs> oh, no. Here comes the but. Maybe. Like, I'm not really on top of this. <laughs> right? <laughs> really? Yeah. By this, you I mean think, everything? <laughs> here's what happened. Yeah, what I happened? Think. Germany was still go After we dropped a bomb, Germany didn't just say, hey, we're done. We still had to go in. Oh, my dear sweet Jesus on a cross. <laughs> oh, my dear sweet Lord. Whatever happened. So you you have no idea that, that Germany had already surrendered <laughs> and, and the war in, in Europe was over by the time we really concentrated uh, our forces over there in Japan and, I, and stuff. See, we beat the Germans yeah. first. Then we uh, beat the, the Japanese. 
I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta read a little more. Yeah, you gotta me, brush up. Ask me about. Do you think the ask Germans me. are just laid down their weapons after we bombed uh, Hiroshima? Steve from Yes, they did. I want to get rid of Steve from Syracuse listening on ninety five X. Steve, you had a great line there. You want to use it or what? I say yeah, man. Go ahead. Boss, you need to go on. <laughs> you need to go on. Are you smarter than a preschooler, or maybe even are you smarter than a fetus? That's what I think. All right. Oh sir. boy. Oh boy. Well, I mean, well, and I mean, as 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 a Jew, you should know these well, things. Ask me about the six day war. Never, long, never forget me, it. You with you, it's never ever new. Yes. Ask me how long <laughs> the six day war lasted. All right, six days. <laughs> Let's say hi to Mike in Jersey. Mike, that's actually a myth. Mike, huh? it didn't last for six days. Hey, right. Too much. You need to have boss on every week to do this because this is friggin' hilarious. Well, we don't and he's being serious, by the way. Yes, you not. got a 60 on a fifth grade test today. That's not bad. It's a passing grade. He's not being ironic. Well, here's the no. deal. Here's the deal. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go to Matt in Pennsylvania. Matt. Hey, boss, could you spell IQ? A-Y-E. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does IQ stand for? Intellectual quotations. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> Jesus. No. Oh, my God. We've been searching for a long time. We found the new spaz. Intellectual. We got the new spaz in studio. Quotations. It's, it's intellectual. Uh, whatever. The Q, I don't know. Intellectual <laughs> quiz. Just <laughs> <laughs> say I'm queer. Oh God! Intellectual. Wow. Quiz. IQ. What is it really? I don't know that. Your one. IQ, which you are saying is 141, 141, yet you have no idea what IQ stands for. I, I, I know how to get to it on the internet. IQ test. IQ intellectual quiz. What do you think it stands for? Quotient. Uh, intelligence Qu quotient. Well, that's that same thing. <laughs> Intellectual, intellectual quiz. Intellectual um, quotation. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go to Dan and Philly. I love Rich Voss. Oh, Dan, go ahead. You guys got to chain him to a chair and never let him leave. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Voss, you should get a nameplate for your death that says the schmuck stops here. <laughs> <laughs> and let's go to Lori in Jersey. Lori. Hi, how are you? Hey, hey. good. Um, the thing is that... To be fair, uh, history classes he might not be just he just might not have the history uh, down. He probably failed it when he was in school. What? But wow, he might have failed history while he was in school. Oh right, yes. Uh, but to be fair, um, fair. He is Jewish. I mean, you learn World War II history in Hebrew school, don't you? Did you go to Hebrew school? Did yeah, you go I, to Hebrew school? I didn't pay attention. I couldn't understand English. How am I going to understand Hebrew basically, school? She's basically, What's wrong with you? Basically yes. saying Voss is Jewish and doesn't know about World War II. I know I, I know a lot about it. What uh, do you know about thank it? Thank you, Laurie. What's that? You didn't know who surrendered. I, I, know, I know Roosevelt didn't bomb the train. Was it Roosevelt or uh, who was the other one you're talking about? <laughs> Truman? You're naming people okay. who didn't bomb the Japanese. No, not to, <laughs> uh, Who did. didn't bomb what? I just want to know where you were going with that one. I love this World War II stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love I'm your sorry. World War II material. You're, you just go into your basement and live it every day. <laughs> Ken Burns has competition. I can't wait for your documentary there, Rich. <laughs> I'll tell you. Listen, I'm serious. I'll take an IQ test here. All right, well, do on the internet. Not today. No. Because no, we got something. Oh, well, we can do that. Yeah, we should definitely. We got Max in Dallas. Max, go ahead. Hey, o and A. What's up, Dukas? Uh... I've got the perfect idea for you. A dumb off between Boss and Francine. Let's do it next week. A Great dumb idea. off. Can you come in next week? Yes. We're, we're working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next He'll week. Killer though. Yeah. I'll right. do it with Bobby Kelly. Who he thinks he's smarter Bob than is, me. Bobby, Bob should be involved. Bob is as stupid as they come. <laughs> Bobby, and he's always saying how dumb I am. I'm smarter than Bobby. Okay, I'll take Bobby on. That's not saying a lot. Bob. All right, we're going to get Bobby, we're going to get you, and we're going to get Francine. Hopefully next week. Could you guys try to make that happen immediately? Yeah. And we'll have a fifth grade exam. Uh, no, we can have a real one. I'm talking this about... This is a real one, obviously. You got a 60. Uh, you know what? I'm talking about some serious questions that, you know, these, oh, yeah, these screw ones. questions about World War II yeah. and then the Cuban Missile Crisis. <laughs> yeah, that's trivial events of yeah, those uh, the are last just, century. I, those I, are just I'll dumb. You, You're right. I bet you can't explain right. the whole Bay of Pigs. What it, what was it about? What 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 what? I know. Can you? All right, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, what is it? What happened? What was the Bay, the Bay of Pigs, Pigs about? 
what happened Teach was us. okay. Uh, we were over there. This is why Kennedy was assassinated because we were over there. We had a lot of money invested in casinos <laughs> and over there, and, and Castro was taken over, pushing out into uh, dictatorship, and we were going to lose all our money there. So the pushing mob, out dictatorship. No, he was okay. pushing out uh, the regime to take over as a dictator in the okay. country. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so the rebels were wanted to overthrow Castro as this was happening and was was seeking the help of America and for, you know you know it's all history from there <laughs> <laughs> I love just watching you unravel I actually saw beads of sweat forming on your forehead in the middle I of that try to remember the godfather <laughs> <laughs> what the God? Basically, well, I don't think it had much to do with casinos at that point. Yes. Yeah, I think well, it had to do with a communist country being uh, uh, ninety miles off of uh, Florida. Yeah, but the rebels um, didn't want to deal with Castro. He was just well, out of control. Well, we kind of didn't want to deal with Castro. Yeah, but if and, you know. and and there was a rebellion against Castro, but it wasn't very strong. So we said, look, we're going to give you guys a hand. We'll back you up if you take on uh, Castro. We'll train you. Uh, we'll give you support. We can't be directly involved. So it was a CIA kind of, you know, covert thing. I feel like I'm in school. I'm looking at the teacher right and, now. And, and uh, when it finally happened, uh, we kind of hung him out to dry and yeah. didn't give them the support that we promised them, and they wound up getting their uh, asses handed to them. And, didn't people and, think and it that failed. That, didn't people think that that... Was a secret deal cut to kind of to to make the Cuban Missile Crisis uh, go away? I think uh, to make the Cuban Missile Crisis go away. Yeah, because uh, during the Cuban <laughs> right? Missile Crisis, and, Missile Crisis, they I, were pointing. Yeah, there is speculation that uh, all that's tied together. Yeah, they, they were really pointed at us. They were pointed at hey. the, the missiles. All right, let's go to Tim in Pennsylvania. Tim, what's up? I just love in history. You have, you have, uh, you have Coke Logic uh, doing animation with Rich Boss with a. Uh, you know, a World War II map behind him trying to explain all this. <laughs> yeah. It's hilarious. I oh, think Coke that'd Logic, be great. Coke Logic will come up with something. Mark in New York, what's up? That's the best bit. Bravo, fellas. That's the best bit I've heard in weeks and weeks and weeks. <laughs> We're not even Rich. trying. It's just the basic crap. Fred in New York, what's up? Yes, there's boss smarter than a crack baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go to uh, Tom in Jersey. Yeah, you got the phones lit there, uh, Rich. You're doing something right. Tom, cool. what's up? What's going on? Hey, hey. Rich uh, is teaching special ed today, huh? Ooh. Well, so much for the fun. Mm. Uh, Joe, save us. Hey, boys. Hey. Hey, boys. Hey. I got a question for you, Richard. Who was the president when Kennedy was shot? Oh, that's a good question. When Kennedy, he was the president when Kennedy was shot. Of course he, he was the I president. What kind of question is that? I got that one. He was trying to trick you. I know. Yeah, it was a trick question. And he almost had you. No. Hey, you know what? <laughs> There's a little There's a, You know, listen, eyes. let me explain something about me. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, I quit school. Okay. <laughs> but. Really? Mm -hmm. I I have 141 IQ. I know, like. <laughs> I never like, believe that. I, I will used, never I believe used to that. Run, I used to run a business. Like, you know what? Let me explain something. Dealing drugs is no. not a business. I used to, I used to have. I can, used we, to can, we take a, can we take an IQ test after the break? How long no, does it take? I, I, I say, I how, how long does it take? It does it take a while, and he'd have to be sequestered somewhere. Um, can we put him in the, the glass booth? No, I'll, like yeah, I'll do that. Next week, we'll do the. Dude, I will put. I know you're not a gambler, but I will just leave $1,000, like sitting over here. If you score more than a three, and if you score, <laughs> three, and if you get within ten points of one forty-one, you could just steal my money. It's not gambling. I'll just leave it here. It's just laying around. I understand you're in recovery, but so it's not a bet. That's but I good. will just leave a thousand dollars out, and I'll just leave it. I'll I'll leave and go. Oh, oh man, I forgot my money. No, first of all, here's how you do it. Leave GH's money. money alone. I don't. I don't want your money. What I want is you just to say vindication is what you want. because I when I was twenty one years old twenty before I went to the mental institution when I was twenty <laughs> uh, around that area yeah I used to run my, I had seven guys working for me like I there's certain things I'm smart at you know what I mean like I used to run a business I had seven employees when I was twenty years old back then paying them like eight dollars now I used to I had 
contracts all over town painting houses and remodeling them and stuff, okay? And whenever I filled out a contract or picked up the money, no one ever asked me, okay, so you're going to paint the peaks, you're going to put shingles on, and never threw in a World War II question. Smart. You're okay? street smart. I get it. Yeah. Not street smart. Business. You're, you're, I know You know business. how to get more drugs from a drug dealer no, by dressing sexy. I get it. You're, <laughs> okay. you're street smart. Okay. <laughs> lingy, lingy. All right. All right we got to take a break. Brokerage this weekend. Yes, uh, <laughs> Friday and Saturday. Rich uh, will be at the Brokerage Comedy Club in Belmore, New York. Okay, I, I'll be at the I'll be at the Providence Comedy Connection this Friday, Saturday in Rhode Island. Okay, so if you're in Providence, come on down, have some laughs. And speaking of uh, comedians, we got Jim Jeffries in the green room. I saw him at uh, the Dennis Leary and Friends thing last week as part of the New York Comedy Festival. Man, the first time I saw him live, the guy's hilarious. Did he get punched? Well, I'll ask him. I don't know. We'll ask him. Is he the guy that got punched? I don't know. I worked with him in England a couple weeks ago. He is really, really, really funny. He was really, man. like, he was the one comic that sat with me and told, like, when I was in England taping that TV show a couple weeks ago, he, he was like, he was so nice. Like, I'm, you know, you know Speaking how of World War II, like, who would think that, you know, uh, an enemy from World War II and you would be able to go there and, and play in England uh, now and there wouldn't be a problem? What am I supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to say? <laughs> By the way, Tony and Reno are saying that Boss's IQ is leaking out of I his, love him. Leaking out of his ear there. <laughs> well, you are. You're a rock with teeth. <laughs> you just... <laughs> All right, Jim Jeffries joins the program next. Fool. It's Opie and Anthony. <laughs> yeah, rolling right along. We got to go right back to the phones, though. It's Opie and Anthony. Uh, Brandy in Boston checking in, listening on BCN. What's up, Brandy? Uh, I don't know if Voss knows that his 141 IQ would have gotten him into Mensa uh, 11 points ago. I thought it was uh, 150. Is it one, 130? 130 to be in Mensa? 130, because so, 130 is borderline genius. Listen to me. You got 141, Rich. Got 140. You're, you're supposed to be in Mensa with all this knowledge and, and sports you got. There is so no way in hell you are even close to 130. I put you at... Just above profoundly retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I, listen. <laughs> ah, we're laughing at you, stupid. Oh, <laughs> what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking. Now, it could be a mistake. It could be 121, but I'm pretty sure it was 141. 121? I'm not no even way. putting 121. Oh. Easily. I'm easily. A hundred, 100 is like average. No, I guess okay, a little then, over 100. After, after we I'm have, putting you there, let's, if not a little below, and I'm being kind, you, if not a little below. You know that weird bet, it's not a bet because you're in recovery, that $1,000 that I'm leaving there? Yeah. When we do this next week, that you could just take and it has nothing to do with the bet? Well, next week it's, it's down to 120. You you go past 120, you get that. If you get within 100 points, you get okay. that money. <laughs> or, or we'll plug. How about this? <laughs> How about we'll talk to Rich Voss's uh, sensibility here. You get over 120 on an IQ test. We will plug the next 10 gigs you have hard on the Opie and Anthony show yeah, I, I to the point where the audience will be just annoyed. I, that's not a bet. No, okay. All right. But next week isn't the IQ. Next week is the smart off with me and Bobby. Well, let's go to... And Francine. And Francine. And Francine. Let's go to Dr. Jill in New York. Smart off. Dr. Jill, you might remember from the Opie and Anthony show, she actually uh, checked out uh, Bob Kelly's prostate in that bathroom. Did no, you? that's not... No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> She's not fessing up to that. How many Dr. Jills do we have listening to the show? Wasn't her name Dr. Jill? I'm stupid. All right, Dr. Jill, what do you got? I'm a psychologist, and I would be willing to give, an, give Rich Voss an IQ test. Do you now, From what you can hear, does he sound like a 141 candidate? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. First of all, you're a psychologist. You had to add that nod. I was with you. But you know, I'm like, wow. You're a step above a counselor, and you're below a psychiatrist. Excuse Another thing. Me, PhD. Oh, you know what? Nobody you got cares. a PhD. What well, you nothing. got, Rich? Please, I can read two Bradshaw books and save three years of going to you. All right. What? Uh, a funny. couple of Bradshaw. Yeah, John please. Bradshaw. Uh, and here, I'm a psychologist. Uh, please, you got more problems. You're probably like laying in the fetal position, crying after your last patient. Another thing, okay? Another, <laughs> another thing. thing. I, another thing. In, in other words, forget what I just said. Okay. Forget the bomb that, that just bomb. passed. It wasn't a bomb. The Bradshaw line well, was a great line. Wait, it wasn't a bomb, really? The Bradshaw. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's good. slow down a minute. It wasn't a bomb, right? Let me. Let's go to the tape and see if it was a bomb or not. Justin Snap is there. The snap. The ball is down. Hmm? The kick is on its way. It's good. Come it's on. good. Oh, it's good. No, no, no waiter. No, no, he said no. no good. No good. He missed it. I'm sorry. He missed it. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, it looked like it was it looked like it was going so well. He See, we went to the tape. The instant replay is saying, "Yeah, it was no good." What do you so What do you say from your sorry. experience? What does he sound like? What What, what number would you guess? Um, Anthony was right. A hundred is average. Um, I'm going right. to say that Rich Voss is probably somewhere between ninety and hundred and ten, which you know is the what? average range. Okay. But you know what? You never know. On this <laughs> you never know. See, just like how well, you never know because you're not you're not going to paint. Yourself right, where are we going to get the official IQ test from? Online. From Doctor Jill or online? I, yeah, not online. You no. can't get them online. They're not real. They're so bad online. Yeah. yeah, she's got an actual test, Rich. She does but, this for a living. I can administer an IQ test. I can't do it on. I can't do it actually on air because the test is confidential. But I would be more than happy to have Rich come to my office in Westchester. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Why is it confidential? If anyone can administer, it's a stupid IQ test. Not anyone can administer it. You have to have a PhD in psychology. No, you Mm. don't. Yeah, we got to do it on the air. That's the beauty of this Rich Voss stupidity thing. I can speak about the results afterwards. Okay. Okay. How good are you? A psychologist. What do you look uh, like? Hold on line. I, what do you look like? Uh, hold on line, because we got to move on, but uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll get you an IQ how test. How long does it take, toots? Yeah, I, I put her back on oh. all toots. <laughs> <laughs> but he just took her PhD, everything she's exactly. worked for, and just shoved it in a bag of toots. Yeah, hey, how, how long does it take, honey? Quick. <laughs> Next uh, next week we'll do you Robert Kelly and Francine in a what, what are a we calling it dumb off a dumb off okay. okay all right hey in studio we got Jim Jeffries a very funny uh, comedian hello saw him at the Dennis Leary and Friends thing last week uh, here in New York and you just killed the audience loved you Jim I was all right it wasn't too bad first gig in New York two and a half thousand people how hard is this country eh people <laughs> say it's hard to break piece of piss yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not for uh, Aussies, though. Not for Aussies? No, you, Aussies got it knocked in this country. No? Yeah. I oh, hear yeah, we do it right. They Paul do. Paul Hogan, Paul Hogan Believe me. must be on top somewhere. Get, like, first of all, uh, girls love the accent, which is one yeah, of those Yeah, girls things, do know. dig the accent. I, I, got, I got picked up. The, I, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you a story. I was in L.A. doing an audition, right? This is where I walk out of the audition, and this girl comes up to me, and I saw her in the audition. I said, what's the address of where we are? Because I need to get a taxi, right? And she goes, I'll give you a lift, right? Because she liked the accent, right? So I get in the car. She's sitting in the car, and she looks out the window and she meet me, and she goes, what's your full name? And I go, Jim Jeffries. And she goes, wait there. And she calls her mum up, and she goes, mum, hi, it's Carla. I just met a nice boy in the audition, but in case I get raped or murdered, his name's Jim <laughs> Jeffries, right? <laughs> right? So I get in the car afterwards. I didn't ask for the lift. She offered me this lift, yeah. right? I get in the car, sit there for five minutes and turn to her and go, you've just made this rape really awkward. Right? <laughs> and she starts freaking out and stops the car on the side of the road. And I go, look, look, I'm not a rapist. And I go, but I'm, I'm really concerned that you're more concerned about solving this crime than actually preventing it. <laughs> <laughs> That was my first experience with an American girl, so that that was all right. I'd been in the country for like a day. <laughs> That's funny. That really is funny. And Jim Jeffries, I didn't know when I saw you that you were the comedian that got punched on YouTube. I'm the I just knew guy. it was like, hey, some comedian got punched on YouTube. I got to check it out. Yeah. But it was you. It, yeah, it was the Manchester Comedy Store. It was it was uh, interesting. The guy never heckled me or nothing. There was a woman that kept on heckling me off to the right-hand side. It was my own show, right? And this woman keeps on heckling me off to the right-hand side of the, the stage. I put it down a few times, and then I said, I'm going to leave you alone now like your dad did. And then I went, it's a shame your grandfather never did. Right? Funny, right? <laughs> yeah. And then this guy on the other side of the room had some issues with his grandfather that he never had resolved. And uh, he waited till he finished his drink. Then he just ran up and kept on punching me in the head just like seven or eight times until audience members came and protected me. Were you hurt? a big guy? I had a bruise on my head. Yeah, I had, a, I, had a, <laughs> I had a black eye. I went back to the dressing room. My support act sitting there. And he goes, how did it go? I'm like, not good, man. <laughs> like, I'm no. better did you punch him back? That's what I, I've been... I, know, I didn't know who I was in a fight. He never heckled me. He just kept on coming up and hit me. I was professional, though. I didn't drop the microphone. I, I held on to the microphone for six punches. I'm confused, though. Between I'm, punches, I'm, did you call and say, if I die? <laughs> I'm confused by something you said. You said uh, seven or eight punches before the audience helped you out. How bad was your set that night? No, like, it was... That the audience waited for seven or eight punches <laughs> and went, yeah, right. oh, I think we should... Hey, he stop. deserves, like, three. Yeah. It, it, was, it was a high stage. It was hard to get up. Oh, okay. You might want to explain, because it makes it sound like... 
maybe the set wasn't that good, and they were like digging this thing. No, oh, it, it wasn't. Oh, yeah, you it got it wasn't a great set. Yeah, there it is. And the wow, last thing is... I say before I get hit is I go, oh, hang on, mate. I was quite hit. shocked. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Is like... The thing is, uh, Paulie Shaw faked it about like six months earlier, right. and when this happened, everyone started writing me letters from America saying oh, it was Paulie Shaw's bit. This guy's doing it for publicity. He's nicked this bit. He's nicked it. Whatever. This actually happened to me. And may I say for the record, no one's ever stolen a joke off Paulie Shaw ever. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be known for stealing anything from Paul Shore. That YouTube is tough, though. Only giving you four out of five stars. That's a that's a five star video right there. Yeah, it's you're... called Jim Jeffries Punched. If you want to search it out on YouTube, and and we'll put it up. Are we allowed to put it up you on one of our websites? Up, yeah, put you it up. You finished your set, didn't you? I went back on stage and finished the show off. I just thought, yeah. you know, why not? I, I think we got audio of the actual uh, incident. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure how. Uh, There's no, not too much. How it's going to translate? It. But let's let's see how this goes. Bats pushing it inwards. Oh. When you, oh, hang on. Oh. Oh, That's a guys, definite ruckus. There's a ruckus going on. Jim's on stage, and the guy jumped up and just really just threw a punch. You literally were blindsided. I, I mean, it's almost like there's yeah. no time to even position yourself for a defense. I never spoke to him or nothing. Was um, he a big guy? Was he, he wasn't that big, but he was stocky. What he a, had a lot of power to him. Like coming up there and just <laughs> clocking your blindside like that. Well, there was a lad who was in the second row who was the first person to come up and help me, right? And he jumped up on the second row, but as he jumped up on the stage, his heel kicked into the face of the woman in the front row. <laughs> And broke her nose. So there's just pandemonium in the entire crowd. There's this woman just bleeding and stuff like that. I'm off in the dressing room crying. Oh, it was a tough day. Why would you go to a comedy club if you're that sensitive? I, I just yeah. don't get that. And this I don't would, get it. It would never happen at a Broadway show. Only comics deal with this. <laughs> yeah. No one's going to hop on stage. You didn't show enough emotion and start pounding one of the actors, you know? Yeah. Only comics deal... The other night on my stage, I'm looking at somebody down in the front row eating spaghetti and meatballs. What other entertainment would you go to see that? Would you sit and eat spaghetti? You know, it's just... It, I well, the strip you know, it's country. also, where are you playing, Rich? Exactly. <laughs> I was at the spaghetti factory. <laughs> you were on NBC. No, I was working at a good club. It was a good club. Oh, all right, they just what happened club? to be serving spaghetti. It was a food court. Where the heck were... <laughs> all right, Hold whatever. On. You you think it over. So then... Uh, uh, everything calmed down, and then Jim Jeffries uh, came back on stage. I, I appreciate you welcoming me back. Uh, I'm not going to be doing much more material. Uh, there's going to be a bit of swearing here. Oh, oh, yeah, we, yeah, oh it's beeped out. Yeah, we got to clean it up for this side. I, I appreciate you welcoming me back. Uh, I'm not going to be doing much more material. Uh, I'm f***ing fan out by that completely. i got a thing on the side of my head. <laughs> Yeah, um, no, no, what many of you don't know is um, that I employ that bloke for when gigs are going badly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right on, man. And the crowd on the video, it's really cool. They're standing up, kind of shaking his hand. It's like the crowd really did come to your aid with what yeah, they yeah. knew. Yeah. Because people think they don't know it's part of the show. I mean, they see that something happening. It's like you have to register. Like, oh yeah, he's getting beat up. It was a hard way for me to find yeah. out that I'm not good at high fiving. <laughs> I, you know I, I have no idea. I'm so bad. I'm, an, I'm a white Australian guy. Like, I don't know how to do. I had one, I, for the first time in my life had someone give me one of those fists. Yeah. Today, yeah. I, was in the, I, I just grabbed his fist and shake them. Start shaking like, his I fist. Shake the fist. <laughs> Like, is that the uncoolest thing that anyone's ever done? Wait, like, you guys don't do the fist, uh... <laughs> no, I don't do... What's the fist? A bunch of germaphobes in America. That's what yeah. it is. They don't want their fingers touching. It's a bunch of germaphobes touching knuckles what, so they don't What's it called? What's the it's fist called? It's kind of just the, hey, we, I don't want to shake your hand. Yeah. You're, you is, know... Is that more you're having purell than a shake hand? Yeah. No, yeah. no, that's very less. Very that's, less. That's like, that's, ah, I don't really know you, but I have to acknowledge you. I've been getting a lot of them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Jim Jeffries is pretty smart. You made a lot of money off that video, right? Yeah, I bought the rights to it and sold it off to the news channels. <laughs> That's really smart. <laughs> yeah. point. Hey, uh, we got to change gears for one second here. We got Gavin in Wisconsin. It's Wake Up Your Roommate Wednesday. Oh, right. This is the guy with the train horn that promised he would oh. call. Uh, Gavin. This better pan out. Listen to this, Jim. Hopefully it'll work out. Gavin. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Hey, All right. hey how you doing? He's in quiet mode. Yes. All right. Uh, wait. Gavin. S explain what's going on. I'm walking into the room right now. I've got the horn in the closet. Okay. Put the phone by him. <laughs> Put the phone by him. 
phone by him. You got to put the phone by him. You wake up as a roommate with a train horn. All right, I'm putting the phone down right now. All right. Okay. This better work. Anthony, you gotta be fucking. Hold on there, fella. Oh man! All right, that was funny. God, that sounded like it must have been loud in there. Wow. Oh, dude, dude, my freaking ear. Hey, good morning, there, sir. Morning. Morning, guys. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, we oh, got that's a good one. Can we uh, get that tape cleaned up immediately? Because they yeah. had to jump out. This guy would curse like uh, a few times there. All right, there you go. It's uh, Wake Up Your Roommate Wednesday. That was a train horn. You got a horn from a, a, a locomotive in the guy's closet. Yeah. And uh, where's hit it? Where's like, the- right now, a train's hitting a car. <laughs> and, and the engineer's pulling on the horn. They go, what the hell? <laughs> it just sounds like an alarm clock. God damn, see that, boss? That's funny. <laughs> what do you mean that's like that's a Yeah, you're not as thick as people say you are, boss. You're quite yeah. clever, man. Uh, no, it's two different things. He's like funny, but he's also lot, stupid. Man. All right, man. Great job. Thank you, Gavin. <laughs> Take it easy. All right. We'll All clean right. that up immediately so you can hear how that sounded. Uh, we'll have to throw a couple bleeps in there. So there, there you go. Jim uh, Jim Jeffries, where are you playing? I'm playing uh, Caroline's tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. Hey, that's pretty cool. Wait, tonight? Yeah, I'm playing tonight. I don't know. Is, is it tonight? Is it a big night tonight? Today's Wednesday. 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 They told me to turn up. I'm going. 7.30. Wednesday through Sunday. I'm not, I'm not doing Friday, Saturday. I got, I'm available for gigs on Friday and Saturday. Oh, tonight, tomorrow, like, and Sunday. I'm oh, you got one of those. Okay, that's why. And I'm, then I got, yeah, then I got, I've been on tour for like six weeks in this country. I'm ready to go back to London, man. All right, very good. We got to take another quick break. More with Jim Jeffries and Rich Voss and, and everybody else. We got the Jimmy Dean uh, complaint call that's really good that we got to play before we get out of here. And uh, also the uh, the Mentos uh, Syndrome guy. All right. We found that audio. Oh, something we were worst. talking about earlier, so... Uh, stay there. Opie and Anthony. Another busy day. Jim Jeffries in studio. He's playing Carolines. It's a little weird. He's playing tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday because he has other gigs. He's really, really funny. I'm telling you, if you're in the New York area and you're looking for something to do tonight and tomorrow or Sunday, please go see Jim uh, Jeffries. Check him out. And the number is 212-757-4100 for Carolines. All right. We got, no. What if you're in the Long Island area? <laughs> oh, no, 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 Rich. Okay. <laughs> I'll get you another plug in a sec. It just confuses the people. It doesn't do like, you any I good. Know. It doesn't do him any good. I know. Good point. <laughs> it really does because then they get all confused. You know? Right. That's why you can't. Uh, <laughs> I thought Jim was going to go. Yeah, it's like if I threw out. No, 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 no. Yeah, Caroline's, that's what you need to remember. Who cares yeah, it's about in Caroline's. Providence? Don't worry about Richard Voss. He's not very bright. <laughs> Providence. <laughs> Who cares? It's different. <laughs> All right, let's go to Jim in Australia. Jim, what's up? Hey, good night, lads. Hey. I was calling for uh, Jim Jeffries. He's a funny bugger, isn't he? A funny Whoa. bugger? Oh, hello. Thank you, Jim. That's very nice yeah. of you. How you going, mate? Good, mate. How are you? Good. Good. I've uh, been here about 25 years, and I still uh, fall into some jokes that my mates just don't understand. And I was wondering if there are any jokes on stage you decide to pull out that are just meant in Australia, and here it just falls on its face. I don't really work in Australia, mate. I work in England. Um, so, yeah, not really. Plus, you've been here for 25 years. You're planning yeah. on losing your accent I a little bit, say, mate? No, really. Just, just a tad? What do you live at, the console? I've been here for a week, and my accent's yeah, more American than yours. You're running a... Uh, Across guys like this, and they go, Well, but when I go home to Australia, they go, Wow, what happens to your accent? <laughs> I, call my, I call my family, and they say, Oh, you sound like a bloody yank. With yeah, see, uh, you hear that all the time. It's it's 20, yeah, five years. He's got to be practicing that, though. Hey, uh, Breaker Moran jokes on. never work here. <laughs> hey, Breaker Moran. <laughs> hey, well, yeah, you can never talk about Gallipoli. They just don't get it. Gallipoli. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Gallipoli. It's that movie that uh, Mel Gibson did Mel before Gibson, he hated man. Jews. <laughs> what was he for? <laughs> hey, Jim on the phone. Jim. Yeah. Here's a joke that just doesn't translate. Oh, uh, well, well, when you're, you know, well, uh, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but when, when you're, you know, there's a bit of aggro and you, 
you got a fella, you got a, you know, insult, you say, get stuffed your wally, and he just looks at you like you're nothing, and, and there you've given him one of your best goes, and so... Uh, get stuffed your wally. You, have, you haven't been there for 25 years. That really is something my dad would have said 25 <laughs> years ago. Get stuffed your... Uh, you flaming mongrel, get out of me bloody house, you thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop being a galah. How about I'm rubber and you're a boomerang? Oh, I'm, I'm just, just going to slink off. All right, you slink stop, off. Stop Thank being a, stop being a bloody mongrel, you galah. What's yeah. a galah? A galah is a big pink bird that acts like a bit of a tit. You know, that's the whole thing. It's it just squawks and acts like a yeah. yeah. So if someone says stop acting like a galah. That's what they're talking I, you're being about. A, just a, you're basically it's a woman. It's, yeah. a, it's a big we, woman. There's going to be a lot yeah. of uh, like comparing people to animals. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a big insult. That's the whole thing. Yeah. We, but we have interesting animals. Why not? Well, of course. I but thought... no one ever goes kangaroo or the nice looking ones. We'll go for no. the more irritating. We do that here. Yeah, we say stop acting like a Patrice. <laughs> a horse Patrice. Ass. A horse Who, what's a Patrice? Ass. What's a Patrice? Yeah. Okay. Are you talking about Patrice O'Neill? Of course he right, is. Right, right. He is an animal. <laughs> I was once in a dressing room with him. Never walked the same. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Adam in San Francisco. Adam, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about Voss's IQ. Okay. I love the guy. He's one of my uh, favorite comics. I don't doubt he's a smart guy, but uh, you know, with a 130 IQ and my own uh, fair share of drugs and alcohol, I managed to stumble ass backwards into a law degree. Yeah. Really? So, uh, you shouldn't say that. You'll lose your law degree. You can't be a lawyer who takes drugs. So keep it to yourself. Mm. Yeah, you don't stumble backwards uh, to a law degree. No, no, we all we all do. So what are you saying? You're saying you have a 130 IQ and... You got into law school. Okay, so are you complimenting me? That's all I want to know. Not really. Yeah, yeah, I'm complimenting you, man. You're Thanks. a smart guy. I think you're smarter than they're giving you credit for. I just don't think you're as smart as you're giving yourself credit for. Well, here's the deal. I raised two daughters that are pretty much honor roll students, so I'm pretty smart when it comes to parenting. They're not just smart in spite of you. Yeah, yeah, they got oh, like the, no. I gave uh, them the, the opportunities. That, I gave them the opportunities just, where they could. That just means they're doing a lot more homework at mommy's house. Let's yeah. be honest. <laughs> your, never done your ex with. must have a 140 IQ. I, I used yeah. to do homework with my youngest daughter. And I get so frustrated. I go, you know what? Forget this. Your ex wife's just sitting with them, going, "Do you want to be like your dad? Is that what you want to be?" <laughs> right. It's a concentration camp. That's how it could end up for house. you. Hey, uh, we got that wake up your spouse call edited so, so we could get a little of this uh, yeah. on the air over here because the guy cursed. But here it is again. Uh, Gavin waking up his roommate uh, with the train horn. This is the guy with the train horn that promised he would oh. call. Uh, Gavin. This better pan out. I'm walking into the room right now. I've got the horn in the closet. Okay. This better work. Oh, what the <laughs> you gotta be <laughs> Hold on there, fella. Oh, man. All right. There you go. That's kind of how it sounded. I think it's funny with the bleep in it. Do you think? Yeah, I think hmm. so. You're a fan of the bleep? No, I just, you know, because you can use your imagination. Yeah. He only said the F word, but now I'm thinking he said something a bit worse. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get much worse than the F word here on the on the air unless you're saying yeah. uh fart. Uh, yeah, say that to That's dog. That's a bad one. <laughs> huh? Nothing. What was I, that? I, I, oh. I didn't hear you. No, we didn't hear you. What was that? It could have been a good you, one. You said there's nothing worse than the F word. I go, tell dog that. We heard you. <laughs> 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 Like, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Oh, it really is simple. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe you keep you blurted it out. You keep leading you to the slaughterhouse. I've never seen this dog show. We don't get it in Britain, the dog guy. I found out about the we guy. We don't get it here either. What? Yeah, but the thing is, what, I, just to look at him, why were you so surprised he said that word? Like, no one was that, surprised. That would be no the most one. obvious thing that sure. he would say on a daily basis. Yeah, I don't, that's why I don't think there's really a lot of outrage. It's yeah. kind of gone away. Cause, mm. yeah. He's an ex-convict. He was People in jail for him murder. To say that. He was uh, keeping it together, and finally he just couldn't help himself anymore. <laughs> <laughs> felt so good coming out. <laughs> right. Hey, we got the the Jimmy Dean complaint call. Uh, who got this, Danny? We should get Danny in here to set this up. We got a guy. He's uh, calling Jimmy Dean. He's not happy with the the size of the sausages because he has to feed his family. Where's Jimmy Dean? Like? Oh, it's a sausage. Oh, uh, Jimmy no. Dean sausages. If it's coming here. Oh, it's not the actor. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. It was based on him though. 
I'm sure That's named a, after. Was it? It's a good yeah. Question though. Yeah, yeah I know. So they, like, they kill the pigs by putting them on a motorcycle and just smash them into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I bailed out of that one because I didn't think I had anywhere to go. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't it? I thought it was a Ferrari. Anyway. <laughs> it's like Jane Mansfield chickens. They put them in little cars and they run them under trucks. <laughs> Natalie Wood fish. Yeah. <laughs> we can't get uh, Danny. Right. He's uh, making a duty. So. A William Holden tequila worm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here he is. Uh, what's up, Danny? Not much. Uh, so apparently, this guy calls Jimmy Dean Sausage Company to complain that the packaging went from a 16-ounce sausage to a 12-ounce sausage, but the price remained the same. Mm. And he can't feed his, his giant, enormous family on a 12-ounce sausage, so he wants to know when they're going to bring back the 16-ounce packaging. You're kidding. No. And that was his uh, little complaint call. Well, and we think that this is him on hold, waiting for someone to get on the line? Yeah, I don't know if you guys know, but like when you call a company and they put you on hold for uh, an enormous amount of time... They could record everything that you're saying. The line is still open. So even though you right. think that uh, there might be no one live listening to you, they can still record that audio. Yeah, if you don't hear hold music, pretty much keep your mouth shut. So or, a, you know, say whatever you want. <laughs> so apparently this first clip is him on hold waiting to actually leave his message. Okay, let's take a listen. Little 12 ounce goddamn roll of sausage supposed to feed your brother and me and you 600 pounds of men at least. You get my point? And the two girls, and they put it in that f pussy roll of sausage. Son of a bitch. Somebody needs their ass kicked. Some little consumer geek a Save money. Save money. Yeah, save money. Save money. I'm going to eat, goddammit. <laughs> this guy rules. <laughs> He's had enough. Uh, hey, well, I'm just, just trying to live as one in this country. It's going to be tough. I'm just <laughs> guys like this out there. I'm just waiting to hear the word Jew because Jew is coming in here <laughs> right. any second now. <laughs> what you want me to say? It? <laughs> <laughs> it continues, obviously, right, Danny? Yeah, and then this is this is him actually uh, leaving his message. I guess no one was available to take his call, so he, he was forwarded to a uh, an answering machine where he was prompted to leave his name and his and his you know. Your quantity of your products, your products are very delicious. <laughs> Love your sausage for 30-something years, but I can't take and feed a family of five on a little 12-ounce roll of sausage. I don't mind paying you more money for your 16-ounce roll of sausage, but you don't have it anymore. You've got a 12-ounce roll, and you've got three men that weigh over 200 pounds apiece, <laughs> a woman that's a little plump scotch girl, and a daughter who's 13, and you're going to try to take... A 12-ounce roll of sausage and a couple of dozen eggs and feed that, it ain't going to work. And I'm not going to purchase your product anymore or ever again. Oh, sure he will. <laughs> and a couple of dozen <laughs> eggs for four people? <laughs> Just <laughs> buy two so. sausages. Of I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, now you have more. Any, he doesn't yeah. mind paying any more money. He said he didn't he mind paying mind more. He doesn't more money. Let's just get an extra package. <laughs> yeah, and then freeze the rest. I'm, Work. I'm with Jimmy, the guy said <laughs> in a dozen. Couple, a couple of dozen, dozen eggs, eggs for four people? That's <laughs> 24 <laughs> eggs for four people. Yeah, but oh, wow. he, his wife's a little plumpish. A little plumpish. How big do you reckon that wife? That means she's a lot plumpish, yeah, by the way. She's eating a few Jimmy Dean sausages. She's sitting there, there, so he can't say that she's a fat, disgusting pig, which there. is what she is. It's he, a family of slobs. <laughs> <laughs> they grade on a curve down there, obviously. If, what, if where, he's saying a little plump. Where were they from? What, what was that accent? That was from the South? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Austria. Yeah. Do they do, do they get this show in the south? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, people of the south are lovely. Then I was going to tease him. You're scared to get punched uh, again? What's wrong I, with I, you? I, I might do a gig in Atlanta someday or something. I I did gigs in Kansas and I got the best tackle ever. Someone yelled out, "Leave God out of this," which I've never had anything like that ever in my comedy career. <laughs> Why would they say that? I was doing jokes about God, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> what was the joke? Was it good? Oh, yeah, I don't think so. No? I don't know. I just said I wasn't religious and I didn't believe in heaven. And then someone yelled out, leave God out of this. Why do people once oh. have to <laughs> insist on interacting with comedians yeah. and getting on stage and punching them because they didn't like what they heard? That was the club where the fight broke yeah. out where yeah. I was at. That was, yeah, that was a joke. Yeah, I go there and they go, oh, you did better than Richard Voss. There was a brawl what club? when he was there. 
Wait, yeah. what happened? That's when the club owner got, when the big fight broke out, when the club owner got his ribs broken. When I was yeah, I remember that. Stanford oh, yeah. and Son? Yeah. yeah. That city stinks. The Kansas City Improv, they, the fight broke out while I was on stage. Really? Uh huh. Two guys in the front row were, uh, f- were arguing because they were talking or whatever, and the security was taking them out, and the guy, uh, Kenny, you remember that? That was Kansas yeah. City, right? The Improv. What a bunch of inarticulate dopes in Kansas punching each other. <laughs> uh, we got the uh, third part of the call there, Danny, to finish this up. Yeah, this is, uh, I just didn't want to leave it as one big check, so this is just the second half of his message. All right. And as far as your 16-ounce and maple and sage, I don't eat that. I'm not from the north. I'm a Texas man. Jimmy Dean sausage is for southern people to eat with the <laughs> breakfast, with the fried eggs and the T-bone steaks. And I can't see going to a little twist. You can hear the fatness in his voice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know he had T-bone steaks yeah. as well. They've they got plenty of food. Yeah, and yeah. a brisket. It's for southern people. This guy loves talking about food. He we, certainly does. He's one a few seconds away from moaning about it. Is he going to mention salad real soon? <laughs> no, 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 you no, won't no, no that salad, either. no <laughs> broccoli. We no like way. to scoop lard right out and just eat yeah. it out of a can. <laughs> no asparagus spears will be mentioned no. in this uh, phone call. <laughs> Fried eggs and the T-bone steaks. And I can't see going to a little 12-ounce package to feed four, five, six people. And I'm not going to buy two of those 12-ounce packages oh. just because you want to downsize and charge the same goddamn price. I'd sure like a reply, and I'd sure like you to go back to your 16-ounce package on your regular sausage because I'm not going to buy it. Otherwise, ever again, I'll just have my own damn sausage made like I used to 30-something years ago. It's not tasty as yours is, but it'll work. <laughs> Goodbye. He Not should hang tasty. himself with sausage. <laughs> <laughs> this guy can't get enough of the sausage. I he like the fact that he's angry with him, but he still compliments. He goes, yeah. i got to give it to you. It is a tasty yeah. sausage. Yeah. You are no, ripping is... me blind, but <laughs> my God, it's good. No, I, it's I, tasty. Got a, I got a question for Jimmy. Does this guy uh, like sausage? No, he doesn't like sausage. No, he doesn't. He loves it! <laughs> <laughs> he loves it so much that he's actually complaining over a four-ounce disc- discrepancy over five people. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I mean, the difference in their sausage intake is less than an ounce, and he's becoming so passionate no. about it. Buy the, uh, just buy two, even though he says out of principle he's not going to, I guess, because well, you fat slobs will eat it. No, wait, wait, wait. Well, where I would have said that it's four ounces a piece. They're not eating one sausage between the whole family. He's losing four ounces on every sausage, which it's a six. He's losing one quarter sausage. No. It went from You're 16. As dumb as no. You think it's no, one they're sharing sausage. a big sausage. You yeah. idiots. Hey. It went from 16 no. ounces to 12 ounces. You've got an IQ of two. It's no. a big sausage. They're sharing it. No. They're giant. What? And what? you what? cut them up into like sausage patties. You ever see those? Yeah, it's a pound of sausage. It's like a big hunk no, no of sausage. No one's eating that oh, yeah. by themselves. What do you think? Oh. They're all eating a 16-ounce sausage? <laughs> sausage? Is that what you think? <laughs> because your fingers look oh, like them. You're as God, dumb as they come. Brett oh, you know what? Wait, wait, wanna... You're right on that one. I'm Hold sorry. On. <laughs> but if it's a 16-ounce sausage and it's down to 12... Uh... It's one quarter of it's gone. Oh. So, so how many people do you have to feed in the sausage again? Let me get this correct. Well, he's saying anywhere between four and six people. Four and six. And he's complaining because now it's not enough. And then they're losing like four ounces. Four ounces. Right? ounces the... And well, soon enough, his fat wife will die of a heart attack. And then everything... <laughs> We'll be back to eating again. <laughs> it all balances yeah, out. Yeah. Don't worry about it. My wife's dead. Your sausage is delicious. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be Dr. Phil. <laughs> Hey, he's going to get uh, twice as much sausage, which he <laughs> kills over from that massive heart attack from eating all that sausage. <laughs> all right. Uh, we got a man calling 911 for beer. It's kind of similar to what we heard, so why don't we uh, go down this this uh, road a little bit. Oh, uh, Katie in Boston real fast. Katie. Hey, this um, goes back to IQ test. Yeah. I just took one online and got a um, 121. Okay. So it's not that hard at all. Yeah, did they ask you for money afterwards to send the certificate? <laughs> if they ask for money, if they go, you've got an IQ of 120, please send us 20 bucks and we'll send you the certificate so you can show your friends, then you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> it's a scam. Of course yeah. it's made easy. No one who's got 90... Oh, yeah, wait till you see the certificate. You shouldn't call somebody an idiot without <laughs> seeing the certificate. You don't get it online. The IQ <laughs> tests online aren't real. Well, K- well, Katie's admitting that she's dumb and she got a 121, right, Katie? Oh, good for you, Katie. Exactly. All right, Katie's dumb, and she got a 121 right? Good girl. So, I like them. We're going to have the dumb off next week. Rich Voss, Francine, and Robert Kelly. Bob will, Bob will be indignant. Dude, I don't want to be a part of the dumb off. He's he. Bob does not understand how... Put me in the is. category with these guys, too. Dude. Right, then he could shine, man. 
Here's yeah. a guy. He called 911 for beer. The state police get 911 calls here in Hebron. Brian Poulin has been to the office here before, according to the resident trooper. So maybe he was thinking of the package store across Route 66 when he called 911 Sunday night to ask for beer. Yeah, he probably should have made better preparations earlier in the day, on Saturday. Why would you call 911? For beer. Yeah, just go to a nice, you know... There is no you know in sight of Poulin's home in the Amston section. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> well, what the hell? Was that the local resident angle? Yeah. Yep. Local uh, resident. Her, uh, her quote was what? <laughs> what was that quote? Just, Thank God they got it from her. It, was, it really helped the story along. I just go to a nice, you know. Good. <laughs> what a dope. Good contribution. Can we get her in next week, too? She's what too... are you doing, Rich? Oh, she was in the middle Jesus. of eating sausage, so I don't blame her. She was, she was Rich confused. Rich had his pants down, like, to the... Showing his lower stomach hair. Nobody wants to oh. see that with your ant body. You're doing? Uh, someone from their cell phone. New video, five people, one and a half ounce sausage. <laughs> Okay. I like that. <laughs> one 12 ounce sausage. Looks like one and a half, though. New video. Five people. One 12 ounce sausage. There's the line. Okay. Mm. One and a More. Half. Well, it looks like one and a half. Yeah, on Saturday. Why would you call 911? For beer. Yeah, just go to a nice, you know. Wow. There is no, you know, in sight of Poulin's home in the Amston section of Hebron. Maybe he realized he was in no condition to drive. But the man who came to the door said Brian Poulin made a mistake, and it's going to cost him as he looks for a job. State police say Poulin called them more than once for beer, so they poured him into an ambulance and charged him with disorderly conduct. Ah, oh, they poured, poured him, him into an ambulance. Oh, Did they? Oh, really? Oh. At least he didn't drink drive, though. you got to give the guy some credit. Like, mm. you know, it's all swings and roundabouts. He had a go. <laughs> yeah, Bill of Jersey. The yeah, the whole go back point with the sausage. sausage guy is uh, yeah. Yeah. a lot of companies do this, man. They charge you the same price and then cut the amount that they give you in the product. Yeah, coffee. Like Coca-Cola used to give you a two-liter bottle of soda for like 99 cents. Now it's a liter and a half, and the two liters a dollar forty-nine, and the other one's 99 cents. We got it. Hey, right. then you're getting no Coke, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. Alex in Boston. <laughs> Alex. Ah, ah, got to throw those in. Hey, uh... <laughs> I learned. I learned today that guys in Texas are sausage size queens. Yeah, bunch of help, boys. All right, and finally the the last of the beer clip. These are beers for what he did. He's beer in beer. Oh, these are the local residents. Oh, good. It's always important to get their take. They always can yeah. something meaningful. These are the local residents giving their opinions. These are beers for what he did. He's beer in beer. They're our major police force. So what do you think of somebody calling them up and ordering beer? I think it's a waste of time for the poor police officers. What that... could she think? Well, I think it's a great idea. This ought to be what the police are doing. Instead of answering emergency calls, getting people beer. The, the, what, 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 <laughs> one answer she could give, uh, it's not good. What the hell are they thinking? A journalist should just be shot. <laughs> All of them should just be shot when they ask questions like that. Wow. Calling them up and ordering beer. I think it's a waste of time for the poor police officers that do their job. Oh, yeah. oh, someone calling 911, that's a waste of the troopers' time. There's so much other things that <laughs> the troopers mm -hmm. need to do, and, and the firefighters, so smart. emergency personnel. Yeah, they do so much for the community as a whole that uh, oh, it's my a shame. God. They need to be doing other things than dealing with the drunk person calling 911. Really? Those idiots, the fear. troopers aren't answering the phone. It's ridiculous it's waste. I don't understand why yeah, what those local residents contributed nothing. That was bad editing. They didn't play anyone who agreed with him. Yeah. That was very, <laughs> yeah. very yeah. one-sided well, report. Very they, they edited it together. It would have been one bloke. They go, well, Jim, do you want beer? Jim Jeffries, that's the exact point we make. You know there was some dumb going, ah, I think that's hilarious. I think <laughs> that's great. Sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I think <laughs> next time I need beer, I'm going to call the cops. God, I wish I thought of this. <laughs> of course. That's what. That's the point. Because they they interview the local residents. You know, half the people are like, why are you wasting my time with this? Shut up, <laughs> go away. So we got Jim Jeffries tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. At Caroline's really funny. Uh, two one two seven five seven forty one hundred here in New York. Voss is on Long Island at the Brokerage Comedy Club Friday and Saturday only. I don't know the number. It's uh, Del Mar, Long Island. Good. Helpful. That's, that's a and good I'll, phone number. Thank you, Greg. I'll be uh, January 18th, 19th, the Borgata Casino in Atlantic City. Tickets are on sale now. That's Martin Luther King uh, holiday weekend. www.theborgata.com is the only way to get tickets. I am uh, at Flannery's on Friday. 
We're, we're getting the band together, man. How did you sound good? Uh, we we uh, went into the rehearsal studio last night. It was How'd very it sound? fun. It sounded great. Oh, good. Okay. No, we, we we had a lot of fun. It was like a time machine. It's still the like same people, same pictures on the wall. Where does Joe Curry play? He he tickles the ivories. Does he? Yes. Oh, what a creep. The keyboard. <laughs> what a creep. And anyone that plays keyboard or piano creeps. Oh, Than, I'm sorry. Come on. Yeah, what kind of man wants to move his fingers top. like that? All right, we got to get out of here. Jim Jeffries, a pleasure, man. Oh, right, thanks for having me. I- I'm telling you, go to Caroline, see Jim Jeffries tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. I'm going to say it again. He was hilarious last week when I saw him live. All right, uh, we're out of here. We'll see you over at XM. If not, have a great All right, day. Uh- Hope you and Anthony show. Right. Uh, 2.0, second edition, part Dix, whatever you want to call it, XM Satellite Radio. Opie, I think he's not here at, at the moment. I believe yeah. someone said he was on the bowl. Uh, well, when we left uh, the CBS studios, I did see him um, take that turn, that left turn out of the hallway into the shitter. And I made a little joke about him uh, taking a dump. And uh, I guess I was right. I thought he was going to take a quick piss, and we would all be here uh, for the start of the program. But, alas, he had to shit. I think this is his third shit of the day. Is it his third shit of the day? Yeah, apparently, he had a pot roast miscarriage this morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he's been just, poor little sweetie has been shitting yeah. incessantly. I really don't know of another human being that shits as much. I don't know any human being who loves his shits as much. Yeah, it's it's very uh, it's not a personal thing. Like to me, shitting is kind of a personal thing. I don't. I'm not neurotic about it. Like I'll go into the public bathroom and take a dump, just like the next guy, with my wide stance and tapping foot, hoping <laughs> to get lucky. But uh, I sure, I sure I don't share it as much. The experience and the uh, some people have don't. need behind it. We were in, you know, the little dressing room at Caroline's. How small it is. Yes. In the back. We're back there having a meeting with big comedy central executives. I mean, you know, me and Bonnie and something. And my dumb manager, the bathroom is right there. Jason. Jason. Goes into the bathroom as all the and takes the biggest dump as we're all sitting right next. How could you? And hear it's it? close. It's yeah. like yeah. But how can you? Do Not that? only hear it, but then you open the door. You got to yeah. kind of watch where you are too when you're doing that because like, if if you're you're in a bathroom right off a room, yeah. you're gonna open that up and the the stink fumes don't know there's a doorway there. Do you like, know to stop. I love shitting in this country more do than I'm doing Britain. What's I the difference? There, there, I love when we can is, find out cultural differences like there this. There is a massive difference. You have a really high water level. In Britain yeah. and Australia, we have just this little tiny pond at the bottom of the thing, right? Yeah. So I didn't know how long my turds got because they would snap off as they fell. <laughs> now, I, with this high water, I've been taking photos of mine on my camera. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. And, and you, don't, you don't have a plonk noise because it just... It, it just drifts in. Yeah. yeah. In just, England, uh, we a, like our water yeah, here in the United States. Fall. But the good thing about England, it'll scrape on the side of the bowl and exactly. just sit there. It'll sit there. It'll just sit there and look like my career. Oh, no. It's- yours is much better. I've been, or the Germans have that shelf where you can shit on it and then you can look at your poo like it's where it's really a shelf. A, they have a shelf with a little bit of, yeah. like a low level of water where it will sit on so you can examine it to see if you're digesting peanuts or whatever, you, right? And then it will flush it off the shelf into the. Very you know, Efficient, you can, those Germans. You know, Germans you are obsessed with shit. If you're, <laughs> yeah. if you're a black male with a wig, you can shit on Norton's chest. A lot of people don't know I am a black man with a wig. <laughs> well, that wasn't a good one. No, not a no. good one. That was okay. I, I couldn't one. hear half of it. Why? <laughs> because you didn't enunciate it. You said something about... Sound like you had a mouthful of shit. <laughs> yeah. Why would a black woman want to shit on my chest? A black... You said a black, said man. A black man. I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> I what's, got it. What's the wig got to do with it? I'm very confused. I don't, he thinks, like, he likes... Uh, uh, he, I mean... Is he saying it's a sexual thing? It tranny. would be so easy to make, like, a, yeah, a tranny joke. Where, where Norton's concerned, because that's kind of a running theme. Yeah, but but right. boss might manage to just fuck that up, too. Yeah, but you tried to make a good like, joke idea. What? Hold on. Where, what, make, where was it? On, on 57th Street, walking over? <laughs> yeah, what was the good Listen joke? Listen to me. Paris, the thought it goes on the air. Listen to me, all nervous carrying the show. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Holding your hands and all fidgety. All right. He's Don't worry. That's a sign of being calm when your hands are full. This is, I, I am, I am. He looks comfortable. I am very comfy. Of course he is. In this position. Fan is nervous. Huh? Fan's shitting his pants. 
lumbering chance. ox just standing there, not sure what uh, to do. I had a good one before. I'm not going to repeat it. Oh, go ahead, Meg. I'm sorry. No, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Really we know you had a good joke. joke. On, we know you had a good joke. Come on. It's got to be a good joke. This is good. Everyone ready? Do it on the count of three. One, two, three. Good joke. Go. Good joke. Good joke. Go. Oh, your hiney's got to be hurting. Sit down lightly. Why does it hurt? Does it feel oh, like there's a salt and vinegar chip I, in it? I thought maybe you were pushing one out. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Just getting updates. You just came back with a banana. Oh! Are they good or no? Updates from... No updates. B-E... <laughs> no, I don't talk to him. From... E-L... Uh, yeah, a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm confused. I'm well, oh, just getting updates. Nothing new. How about that? It was a waste of time. <clears throat> All right. Where are we at? Well, Voss just was about to tell a joke, and he yeah. bailed out on it. I yeah. forgot what it was. He didn't want to tell any joke. No, Go ahead. Tell a joke. What is it, dude? <laughs> just say it. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares if it bombs? I'll, You're here. I'll laugh it, whether it's In a moment, bad. it was good because you laughed at it when I said it. I, I remember what you said, dude. Well, I don't remember said, him I laughing like, at anything he, he goes, said. When I, when I take a dump in America... Uh, what do you say? Well, it's good. There's a big difference here than England. I go, yeah, we have toilet paper. Yeah, it was a good joke. That yeah. was good. Oh, yeah, oh I didn't time. realize we were walking down memory lane. I think you had a fresh one. <laughs> you fucking jackass. You said the same way. Sorry, I didn't realize it was a fucking best of. Remember uh, earlier yesterday when I said what? When 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 uh, when you were uh, absent there, up uh, uh, checking things out, we learned that in England, yeah, the um, water level in the toilets very low. Yeah. So you don't get that like nice drifting into the yeah. water. It, it makes it, like a slamming sound. It'll it makes slam, it breaks. It'll be a splash up, and your, your turd will break. They drop down like Saddam. And also, when it flushes, <laughs> it, water water comes down from above and pushes it through. Your one sort of sucks it out, and, yeah. Yeah. and it has a spin to it. Yeah. Uh, oh, I like it. Thank a lot. God for awesome. the American Revolution, or we God would just be taking America. these awful shits. Yeah. Your showers don't have it goes Water right pressure, into it's it terrible. goes right into the bathroom floor and drains. Like there's no uh, divider, you know where the water is. is the no, water there is in my house. I don't live in the YMCA when I'm in Britain. You know what I'm talking about, though? How they have them divider. like divider? No, you know on the floor there's a couple tiles. You like the, the thin one between you and retardation. <laughs> 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 See, now that's funny. Yeah, that's funny. He, he could tell that again in 10 minutes, we'd still laugh. I'm going to sit calmly with my hands folded. Yes. Very confident, right? Confident. Very confident. All right, what are we doing over here today? We have On some this stuff. side. What do you got there, Jimmy? I believe there we had that No, I just thought we had your interest? Stuff. No, not really. I just thought we had some stuff we didn't cover. Well, FBI says Saddam Hussein cried at their last meeting. Yep. Well, of course he's going to fucking oh. die. Where, where, where he cry? Poor guy. Well, he, he became close to this guy, George uh, uh, Piro, who I think is Lebanese origin and uh, speaks Arabic or whatever language his Saddam spoke. So they communicated and they became very close. He spent like seven hours a day, but he was the guy they sent in yeah. to fucking pick his brain. Yeah. And he befriended him and uh, he got what he wanted, I guess. I've, um, I've gigged in Baghdad. Like, yeah. I've gone out and done the troops and I stayed in Uday's palace. And uh, we went out and they let us play with like plastic explosives and all that type of stuff, right? Like the, 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 the play British, with them. Hold the on, British how do you troops, play? How do you play with plastic explosives? The British, the British troops gave us plastic explosives and told us how to set it up and set it up. And we went out in the desert and we lit them and the thing and fucking blew up. And blow we, some shit up. We all up. had a laugh and I videotaped the whole thing. But then when I come back into Heathrow. They, they swab my camera and my laptop, oh. and there's plastic explosives everywhere, right? The only way I could prove that I wasn't like a terrorist is by showing the video footage of me hanging out with the troops. But also on that, when I was in Uday's palace, I did a mock me version of a mock version of Cribs going through his house with like a fake beard and all that type of stuff. And it, and it was, I was like, this is where I tortured my bitches. You know, that type of stuff, oh, right? Shit. And so they've banned that, so that tape will never be seen. Why they banned it? What, what in? Because it's, you're not allowed, the British government were paying for me to go out there. I can't start like filming all the, 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 the torture rooms and stuff like oh, that. They, they, that's, yeah, that's making stick out of uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. torture rooms and stuff. Three. Yeah, it's it's not the United States. Can you, you bring know? it here and put it on here on online or something? I've got still got photos of it all. Yeah, the tapes but I gone. Now. The, the videotapes long gone. What was the the coolest memory of that whole experience? I am. Um, well, this is the most interesting. You know what I mean. Okay, well, What's okay. What stands out in your mind? Okay, this this is this is this is. We are, I'm flying in a helicopter over the top of Baghdad, right? And and uh, it's the first time being there. I'm in a Puma helicopter. And I see like a little doorway, and uh, the, the guy with the hell uh, the gun on the side, like Apocalypse Now. Yeah. Right? 
I've never been in Iraq or Afghanistan or nothing in my life, right? So I'm freaking out. I'm in a bulletproof vest and a helmet. And all that. We're flying over the top. I see a little Arab bloke on the ground with a handgun just shooting at the helicopter. Just bang, 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 bang. I start fucking freaking out, losing my mind completely, right? The gunner turns around and goes, don't worry about it. We're too high up. Those bullets can't reach us. And then he went, look at this. And the little bastard died. Right? Oh, and, shit. And, and I was like, I was just saying, I didn't want to upset anybody. Like, <laughs> seriously, I saw that. It was like a computer dude, game. Dude, you like, pointed him out? Yeah, I saw that. Oh, shit, away. you and killed he, that dude. Know, yeah, <laughs> you caused the You death. killed that guy. I didn't mean to. You were probably saved someone. Server. Good for you. Good for you. You probably <laughs> saved some. The, the next guy coming out for you. Shot. Yeah, but I think he probably has some nightmares <laughs> over that. Yeah, yeah, I, wasn't, I wasn't happy. <laughs> and then I, I, I told the this. I he told, told you stage, look at like that night, and all the soldiers were like, yeah, oh, brilliant. But I say this before, man. The American soldiers are fucking mental, man. You meet an American soldier, and you go, why are you out here? And they're going to fight for freedom and tyranny and for the flag. You meet a British soldier and go, why are you out here? And they go, I didn't do good at school. I just didn't try hard enough, me. Hmm. Hey, speaking of uh, the army, you're you're doing a show over there called what? Celebrity Army? You were saying? I'm doing uh, during the break. I'm, I'm doing like uh, celebrity boot camp. In celebrity pre- boot camp. Yeah, yeah. Where they yeah. They're, they're just gonna make me run up pills. I'm a fat bastard. I can afford to lose a pound and be called maggot and clean a few toilets with a toothbrush. Who yeah, have some guy in your face. I don't know. Yeah, I've only I've only just been offered it just the last few days. So yeah. I don't know. You know, it'd probably be an ex boy band member. Other shitty celebrities. <laughs> if, if, if if I'm a celebrity, right? <laughs> then then you got, you're not going to know the other people, right? You only met me the other day. Like, these people are going to be real fucking low end. I got to tell you, um, you know, Jim Jeffries, a lot of people are asking who's this guy with the weird voice. Jim Jeffries. Weird he's, voice. He's hilarious. Well, it's different. Yeah. Caroline's tonight, <laughs> tomorrow, and Sunday. Uh, we couldn't talk about this on the other side because you got to keep it kind of clean, but this guy is a dirty, dirty man. Yeah, I can kind of sense that. He's a dirty, dirty man. His yeah. comedy is filthy at times, but it's obvious he's just not writing jokes. He's living this lifestyle, right? Yeah, well, I try to. You know what I mean? The biggest difference I find coming over here is you guys aren't very open to the word cunt, which I find amazing. I yeah, love the word. I, well, I yeah. it's, it's in Shakespeare. It's like the oldest swear word in the world. I get on stage and say Is it really it. in Shakespeare? It really is in Shakespeare. Yeah, he said I would never lick hey, one. Oi, <laughs> Mick- <laughs> <laughs> Oi, Macbeth, you fuck. Cunt. Yeah, that was no. It is in Shakespeare. The oldest swear word in the world. It comes. Well, let's ask the genius, uh, Rich. It's in Shakespeare. Yeah. Cunt? Series most bounteous lady. Thy rich leaves of wheat, rye, barley, oats, and fetches. Oh no. Your cunt stinks. <laughs> from the tempest. From the tempest. I find the word motherfucker to be offensive. Right. That I think that one's bad. Name Even the cunt part. Place. Three. Sh- you the tempest. Uh, yeah. Not including the tempest. Yeah. Okay. Uh, death of a salesman. Death of a salesman. <laughs> Why <laughs> Biff, you cunt? <laughs> Get a job, Biff. <laughs> Biff Loman, you're a cunt. <laughs> Come on, tell me three Shakespeare plays, not including The Tempest. I don't fucking know. Macbeth. Do you know? Oh, yeah, well. Macbeth, Midsummer's Night's yeah. Dream, Romeo and Juliet. Othello. The, the Merchant of Venice. All right, you only needed three. Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't get two, 141. I couldn't what get fucking one. Ass, you, you think Macbeth is a fucking IQ test? I think it would be in there somewhere. <laughs> did you uh, Did you get Romeo and Juliet? I wasn't thinking. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not answering questions anymore. I'm done. All right. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's pleading the fifth. Pride. <laughs> <laughs> not answering questions. Because he realized when he I tries d- to. I don't know what Romeo was horribly it wrong. Stupid. <laughs> hey, Jim, have you seen uh, Two Girls, One Cup? Two Girls and One Cup. Ah. Oh, one cup. Cup. Is, is this? Is, I've I've heard of this. Wow. Is, this is legendary it? now. Seen, this oh, is this is, girls, is this a girl swapping a scat porn? Yeah. Full scat porn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the fact that I know the terminology says enough about yeah, me. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Know, yeah. You're filthy. That, yeah. I, what I'm trying to get at here, I saw some similarities in lifestyles between you, Jim Jeffries, and Jim Norton when I saw you <laughs> last <laughs> week. Last week, and that's actually a compliment, my friend. Oh, thank my you. Friend. Thank you. And he enjoys the scat porn. Do you like well, it? Well, who doesn't? Have you? Have you been? Have you been? <laughs> he been doesn't enjoy it. He. 
loves it. <laughs> I don't like shit porn. I, mean, I love it. <laughs> it's really big in Japan. The shit porn, and it's it just is. in news agencies. And the Japanese are mental, man. They'll have f footage of people shitting on each other and the girls smearing shit on her, right? But pubic hair is really offensive. Yeah, so they gotta blur it out. They'll be and they'll pickulate the the, the the cock out. Yet they'll keep the dog's cock. That'll have, they'll have no problems with that. That's yeah. not offensive. It's a terrible, I, terrible culture. I don't cock understand it. The nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I rich. Yeah, that's, that's fucking hilarious. That's a good one. Like, they're trying to pretend it's soft, but they're just they're adult male boy cocks. <laughs> they don't want to show the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> radiation shrunk them, didn't it, back in the forties? <laughs> they're Pete Rose pubic hair. Well, well, can, <laughs> I, can I please see the two girls in the? Oh, house? look at you! He's asking for it. No, he, what is scat porn? What does that mean? Scat shit. Uh, Voss shit when they shoot. Have you ever seen it? Never in my life. Oh, two girls All right, then story. spin around and two take a look. We get a dual uh, reaction here. Yeah, this is so what's uh, going on. Focus on the rich. Sexy. Uh, you just have to watch it. It's kind of it's like sexy. Clockwork Orange. Just make like you're watching, and it's it is sexy. It Here is. we go. Can we Jim, go to prison for this? <clears throat> Jim Jeffries watching two girls, one cop, and Voss and Rich Voss. Mm -hmm. All right. Starts with a nice logo. That <laughs> is. It seems. It seems. And then yeah. All right. Here That's we just go. normal lesbian. Little. Uh, porn. A little yeah. Uh huh. Oh. oh. Jesus! <laughs> 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 That's brilliant. I love it. <laughs> Rich, 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 <laughs> Rich, keep looking, please. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh Jesus! Oh. <laughs> 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 This is the best thing I've ever seen. Watch this. This is Schindler's List. <laughs> no. <laughs> and there you have it. What do you think? Two girls, oh. one cup. Oh. Oh. Jim Jeffries. That never that, gets old. That was, it just that never was, gets old. Was, oh. When they vomit on the shit. Yeah, yeah. It's that's like, like a new level of shit. It's shit with stomach acid. And oh, yeah. shit. It's uh, She ate shit. And is vomiting shit on the shit, and then she eats the vomit and shit shit. And they weren't bad looking shit. girls. They were like all right looking. Chicks. We were trying to figure out how it comes to that. That's so how the shit. hell does it come for that? You have uh, daughters. Yeah. You, yeah. How do you keep them from doing that? He has two of them. I feed them. And I should, <laughs> how do you keep them? Never hungry. How do you keep them from doing it? He Just has... keep them in America. That's all. <laughs> how many... No one in America is doing that shit. How oh. many cups have you got in your house? How many cups? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Might want to get rid of all the I know, cups. You, I know you got two daughters. I'm not implying three. anything. I'm just yeah. saying. Can you, you just want no cups. Like if that, somebody's parent might have saw that and go, that's my girl. That's my yeah, girl. hey, there she is. Yeah, Turn it off. They, they might have looked Turn it go, off. That's my girl. And for years, I could have shat in her mouth. And no one would have me. By the way, <laughs> all this lost time. By the way, Blue Healer from Kentucky, Voss just puked 41 points off his IQ. <laughs> <laughs> that was Isn't it amazing uh, how quickly that cup fills up? Yeah. Like, it's just wham, and it's full. <clears throat> oh, I'm, starting I love it. I'm starting to think there's some trickery there. No. Nope. Yeah, the, um, the shit came out uh -uh. pretty quick. But then, and then all of a sudden, I'm going, that doesn't look like a shit should normally come out of an ass, but how many shits have I seen come out of an ass? Like for that, me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For me to judge. I At don't altitude. see many human. I, I want to see the outtakes of that. Yeah, the, where was the, the, the blooper reel? Boing. Yeah, where, where the shit was too watery, where the shit was one log that she had to squeeze out forever. Where you got like, uh oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little sound effects, and how age. wacky it is that they're that fucking shit, it up. I looked at that shit going at my age, going, I wish I could take a shit that quick. Oh, imagine, that. imagine that. You're in and out. Struggling and going, yeah, yeah. shooting you, blood yeah. off your hemorrhoids. Hey, your <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Jim, no, Jim, no one ever tells you about hemorrhoids, do they? It uh, just happened to you. I keep saying Jim Jeffries because I want to make sure we get your name out there to the folks. And a uh, few people are asking for. Um, some of your comedy. Can we find anything online that we could yeah, play at the break if or something? You just, if you just go to my Two show. girls, one you, cup. If you want to see the egg stories on uh, YouTube. What's on the egg story? Comedy Blue. I did it at the show the other night about me shoving an anal egg up my ass. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah well, no, I want to get a copy so we play it right here on the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Can go, we get go, the egg go story? To, go to YouTube. That was funny from last week. On Comedy Blue, it's at about the sort of five-minute mark on the set. That's a good story to show. All right. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll give you a little sample of uh, what Jim Jeffries is all about with just, the comedy. Yeah, thing. comedy blue on YouTube. That'll be fun. Also, uh, 
today we're finding out that uh, U.S. set another record. Uh, we are the greatest country in America. On, uh, in greatest, America. <laughs> we truly are. <laughs> yeah, greatest country in the world. Why are you the greatest country in the world? What have you done this time? We set another record. More than one million cases of chlamydia were reported in the United States last year. God bless right. this country. Yeah. The chlamydia most, is back. The most ever reported for a sexually transmitted disease. Chlamydia. I've had it. Yeah, you have the yellow it's chlamydia? Easy, it's easy to get rid of. That. I didn't know you yeah. have it. You're yeah, green you pus get, in your you get, you, get, you get some painful pisses along the way. You get pus in your underwear? Green. You get a little bit of pus at the end of your cock, and they just shove up like, uh, like <laughs> oh. they just shove up like a thing at the end of your hole, oh. and put it in there, and then you take some antibiotics, and it's gone. Yeah, you, chlamydia. You just hope you didn't pass it on to anyone. How it's easier to tell in a, a guy uh, that a guy has it than a girl. Yeah. Women can have it for years, and uh, maybe you become sterile because of it. Uh, oh yeah, I've lost girlfriends. Al Capone, but a guy, I've lost girlfriends. Not on from. A second. You're, wait, oh, you're right. Okay, what? here we he go. He actually is right. Al what? Capone what? died of syphilis. Syphilis is ah, a chlamydia. You know, I was going to say yeah, chlamydia. It's, 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 just, it's a. Uh, what is? Wait, wait. Here he goes. Black. Shakespeare had syphilis as well. Back to Shakespeare. Rich I'm Voss trying. is going to impart some knowledge and wisdom upon us. Rich, which is a drink? Oh, can chlamydia it is just one? another STD, basically in 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 the family with syphilis, all of them. You know, I mean, it's not like if you got either one of them, you're fucked. Until you take penicillin, <laughs> you get a little it's, penicillin. It's easy to get rid yeah, of penicillin. That's all. Chlamydia right. is not. You just, you just got to suck syphilis. a virgin. That's all that happens. That cleans What's the act. difference? They're both sexually transmitted diseases, yeah, but I they're know. different types of diseases. Diseases, different uh, bacteria, different uh, uh, bugs in your uh, in your dick. Ooh. It is. Yeah. It's not a bug. It is a bug. It's a. You ever see a spirochete? That's what uh, 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 syphilis. It's it's a little corkscrew in your cock. Yeah, Robert Blake had a spirochete. In his <laughs> yeah, he did. No, he did. Don't <laughs> don't make a, a Fred the Cockatoo joke. <laughs> hey, uh, can we bring Big A in here? Big A is hanging out today. Hey, I, we haven't seen him in a while. Back in the seventies, we used to get that all the time. What? Right? Where used to be big, like, like syphilis or whatever? Because you didn't fuck with rubbers before. Then the her then the herp was like the big. That, that was when everyone went. Oh, right, now's a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it was just the clap, uh, you didn't care because uh, penicillin. I've never had the herp. No, but no, then no, herpes no. got like, uh oh, this you, you, you keep forever. Uh, you spread it. Uh, you don't want that. Yeah, and they knew you by name at the clinic from yep. the fucking syphilis. You'd go in the clinic. It, it was like, and it was like, that was that. And then AIDS just uh, <laughs> rubbers. Doctor Steve, no more by the fucking way, men in the ass. My friend Doctor Steve says oh. usually no pus or chlamydia. More common with gonorrhea. How do you get chlamydia? No, I, didn't, I didn't have gonorrhea. I just no. had like, it's just a really painful piece, like razor blades coming out. <laughs> oh, like, hey, like, uh, like, that was, you know, it was just one of those things. You just you get it. Yeah. This is our head of you programming, Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Yeah, this is the guy that makes it all happen. He's the guy that kind of runs the channel yep. and, and runs the network. <laughs> right. Does yeah. everyone point at him when venereal diseases are mentioned? <laughs> no, they just point at him because they think they're at the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Big A, say hi to Jim Jeffries. Oh, uh, 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 hi, Jim Jeffries. How you doing? Oh, good. Thanks, man. <laughs> Big A. Yes. And don't, you don't make fun of him. He's the boss's kid. No, don't. you were. Um, don't touch his ear. You were losing weight. I noticed for a little while, about three seconds, <laughs> and and now you seem to have tacked it back on. Am I? Am I? Am I speaking the truth here? Um, uh, yeah, maybe a little bit, yeah. Because you look a little bigger than than you've ever looked. Wait, Are you wait. at your heaviest right now? Mm, probably. Yeah. Let's smooth it over, Ant. <laughs> well, I, I'm uh, just... Hold on a second, please. <laughs> wait, his, hair looks, his hair looks good. He looks like he ate Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, the, the insensitivity on this show is mind-boggling. How much, how much weight had you lost? <laughs> Uh, one point, I think, up to 100 at one point. You lost wow. 100. Up, uh, one point, I mean, not recently, but up, yeah. you know, How much point. have you put on recently? Uh, maybe about 50, 100. 50, 100, big difference. Jesus. Yeah. So, since when? Since Nurse uh, Rossi said she was going to tell you? your mother. What are you, chewing pork chop gum? <laughs> 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 How much have you gained since the it's not uh, even gum? It's just a piece of steak fat. <laughs> <laughs> How come you didn't stutter when you called in about the Jimmy Dean sausage? <laughs> How much have you gained since the uh, the neck? That was a good one, Vossi. It was a good one. I liked it. Yeah.
um, 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 I don't know, maybe a little bit, because um, I haven't been exercising much. Uh, I have to get back to exercising and eating right. Back so. to? <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> Doesn't that mean you you had done it once before? Yeah, you act like you, t- you, you act like you had. This is a brief stop in the rest area of unhealthiness. <laughs> <laughs> what, he's, what he's saying is he has to go back to digging shallow graves. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of, lot of uh, calories burned doing that, right? Yeah. Right, Big A. Mm-hmm. You work yep. uh, your arms sawing hookers' legs off. <laughs> <laughs> His left hand gets to work out holding a chloroform fucking hanky over her mouth. The right hand caves the skull in. And bring up the right knee to her kidneys and kick. And kick. <laughs> so, Andrew, you uh, you you, what kind of exercise are you doing? Um, uh, I used to do walk. Yeah, I used to walk in my neighborhood. Uh, I used to, do, yeah. you know, do a lot of uh, walking. I saw a video of that. It was called Ghostbusters. <laughs> 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 Sorry, a little walk in the neighborhood joke. So, are you depressed? What are you eating so much for? Yeah. What's the matter? What's the matter with you? What's going on with you? Uh, I guess I'm, I'm a little depressed at, at, at times. You're a little lonely. Aww. You know? Aww. Oh, Jesus. Damn. You think, sweetie, what's the matter? That's sad. Uh, haven't there been any, uh, like, uh, get together get togethers uh, that you, you could go to? You know, station people hanging mm-hmm. out. Uh, yeah, do that from time to time, but um, uh, that's just friends getting together. And then it all ends at the end of the night. Yeah. you got to go home yep. alone yep. to that lonely apartment you know where it's just you and a bed that must look like a concave fucking tortoise shell. It you looks like a sad. contact lens with a shoe on it. <laughs> two, two girls were eating cups of shit and they're in better shape. <laughs> they were cut. You got to yeah, you got to think that's well, from all the yeah. puking though. They have a bit of hepatitis in them. Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah, that might just ate his head some weight off. Ah, yeah, yeah. oh, big A. So Andrew, what what's you what's your weight up to now? Well, last time I checked, it was it was it was three ninety. Okay, what do you think? Three ninety. Yes. You're teetering on four bills. What do, you, what do you think? Have you passed four a little bit by now? Oh yeah, probably. Okay. How, how, how much? Scale. Okay, wait, how much scale, is three ninety? What is that? What is that in kilos or stones? Oh, oh Christ! What are you? Stones. You're talking that wacky oh, European right. measurement. Two hundred stone. Two hundred <laughs> stone. I'm like fourteen That's stone. Four why won't right, you right. learn? He's our saying. Way. He's saying. Why? Why are you telling his weight in money? <laughs> pounds. <laughs> you and your pounds. How many stones is that? How many stone? How many kilos? Yeah. I would say, um, uh, four hundred pounds is probably about. 630 kilos. It's about... No, I'm I'm 90 <laughs> kilos. <laughs> you, can't, you can't play that. I'm not going, he's six times bigger than me. It's about three years of your fish and chip dinners that he's been eating. Yeah, right. Just yeah, oil and grease. Lovely, lovely. I went the wrong way. It's the other way. It's the other then way. he's probably um, 280 kilos. Picture the Edmund I'm Fitzgerald. Oh Christ! I got an iPhone. I could have figured that out too. I'm gonna go with he's uh, 390 pounds no, in America. 400. 400. Just say 400. I'm anyway. saying that's gonna be so about, about uh, 30 hundred and, stone. No, about, no, about, stone. no, 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 not 30 stone. About 25 stone. Then I guess 22 stone. Stone. That's well, how big stone. are the stones? That's fucking big, man. What if the stones are different sizes? Oh, man. I never understood that. I got kilos. Right oh, you got kilos? Are we doing kilos? How no, many no, kilos is big A? Okay, okay, 14 kilos is 90. 90 kilos is 14 stone. Wait, I'm going to... What the fuck's a stone? Yeah, How many kilos? What's a stone? It's a stone. It's oh, a oh, fucking... Oh. It's a measurement of weight. It's, <laughs> yeah, if you're a two building pyramid. <laughs> I don't like when you try to be clever. Oh, yeah, I no. bet you it went back to the oldy measurement where they'd find a whole lot of stones that were similar sizes and they'd go, that's it. It's like how they measure things in feet. So you're basically oh. saying we what can skip him feet? across a pond. 12 inches. 12 right. inches. Yeah, but not everyone's foot. I'm going to guess. He's making that a good was, point here. That was like a king's foot or something that they went, all right, that was, yeah. you know. I'm guessing yeah. 32 kilos. He's not 32 kilos. No. Oh, a stone? Be more than that. No, I'm, yeah. How much is he? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I say he's one hundred. I'm ninety kilos. No, so. no, no. He's he's uh, two hundred and twenty-eight kilos. 
Oh. What? Shit. Wait, I should have stuck with my Either first way, one. Either way, he's very close to death. 180? Very kilos. close to death. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what measurement you put it in, yeah. the result's the same. Ah, oh, shit. You know, I should have just gone with something I, I used to know about and thought of what he would look like filled up with cocaine. Yeah. Then I could have gotten the whole kilo thing. <laughs> you know what, though? Oh, hold on. When it comes to England, you're in shape, though. 180 is not bad. Uh, uh, you weigh 180. Over, you should move over there. You're in shape. This is so a true story. I, I go get my blood pressure weight. checked in in Australia, right? And the doctor says my blood pressure is too high, and then I have to go on medication and I get checked again. So I go over to England, right? And they check it. I get exactly the same readout, but because the English are such fat cunts, right? It turned <laughs> out that I I was a healthy Englishman. Their, their standards were different, right? So I'm an unhealthy Australian, but I'm a healthy Englishman, <laughs> right? So every time I get sicker, I'm moving to a shittier country until eventually I'm the healthiest man in Rwanda. <laughs> and there's just going to be some doctor going, "You've only got HIV. It's not even AIDS. Do you want to join the soccer team?" Yeah, that's yeah, that's like the flu to me and you. <laughs> get the AIDS down there in Africa. <laughs> hey, Big A, someone wants to say, uh, wants you to say, I don't have a stupid STD. Uh-oh. Oh, by boy. the way, Jim Jeffries, this is the beauty of Big A right here. He can't say ST words, just to let you in on the game. No, okay. I'm, so, I'm, I'm I don't have a stupid STD. <laughs> mm. Good start. I don't have a stupid a, a, a stupid STD. That's why he. I believe him. That's why he's big. Because when he's eating, he can't tell himself stop. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> there you go. So what are you? What are you? Uh, you're a little lonely, huh? I like him. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. This is disturbing. Yeah, it is a little bit. When's the last time? <laughs> when's the last time you had some type of sexual activity, Andrew? Mm -mm. A uh, long time. Was it when we had the girl ago. jerk you off? Um, yeah. I'm gonna uh, go get the cup. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a biggie when he um, when he got uh, jacked off. No. By some. Um, uh, what was she? Hooker. Yeah, two girls from the Bunny Ranch. Andrew's never had his ass eaten. Would you eat it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, that's a good point. Um, no. <laughs> Are you trying to say that we should get someone to eat Big A's ass? I'm certainly exactly Big A, would it. you be uh, into a, a girl eating your ass? A bit of rimming? A little lick? Um, Swabbing between those delicious cheeks with her tongue? Oh, fuck. <laughs> a little pungent, I'm sure, but so what? Let her tough it up. <laughs> That's how she learns, Andrew. You get on your hands and knees on that couch and you slide those pants down to mid-thigh. And you get that fucking ass swabbed out. What, what do you mean? say? I'm likely can ask, but my anus is a little bit... doesn't look very good. I always get conscious of people. Really? Yeah, one of the sides of my anus is more swollen up than the other. It looks like my asshole's had a stroke. So, Big Gay, what do you say? Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, never had his... Yeah. Okay. Sure. yeah, but just because you haven't had it doesn't mean that you don't want it. <laughs> Would you let a girl put like strap on or put? No, oh, okay, no, no. Okay. Oh, no. You're never gonna find no. love that way. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, gotta, you gotta be open to suggestion, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, Big A, uh, not into that. I see. Blue Healer is mm. suggesting two girls, one tub. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. E. No, sorry. I don't know what to tell sorry, you. Yeah, I was just going for it. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you got to get out in into the scene a little bit, I guess. Oh shoot! <clears throat> oh, what are you getting? A uh, little. Uh... You want to have a lemon party? No, that's all right. <laughs> you sure? That's all right. <laughs> what's a lemon party? Yeah, what's a lemon party? Oh, <laughs> boy. Oh, here we go. You, yeah. <laughs> you know, Rich Voss. Than is right on it. Now, he's like, what's a le when it when he heard what's a his mouse is in hand. Is this click, the whole tick. lemon entry, my dear Watson? <laughs> no. with the, with the, up the ass, no? It's Jeffrey. a single still picture. It has nothing. It's not a and video. We, and all we ask is, who is the gayest guy in this? No, photo? no, no. It's it's not the gayest guy. Who would you want to be? The question is, if you had to be someone in this picture, who would it be? Who would it be? All right. 
I'm gonna. All right. Right. Now okay. pick, pick oh. and choose. Uh, there's three older gentlemen. Would you rather be Arnold Palmer, who's Arnold blowing Palmer the dude? Arnold Palmer down at the bottom. Uh, yeah, I think ex I... New York Mayor Ed Koch, who's laying down. Look at this. I'd be the one kissing and caressing. Kissing you would be kissing guy and blowing a guy. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Which... I don't have a cock in my mouth. I, I got, he's got his eyes shut. But he's a happy person. He's in his happy space. But he's not getting any pleasure out of, of that. Ed Koch, at least, he's got to kiss the guy, but at least he's getting his dick sucked. Are you sure says, that's a real photo and not superimposed? Oh, yeah. They're all such lucky oh. devils. I know. <laughs> the guy in the middle is the lucky one because he's getting everything. He's getting his tongue swabbed. He's getting his nipple played with. He's got a mouth on his cock, a hand on his leg. He's just being served. By the way, that's Sandra Day O'Connor's uh, husband. <laughs> <laughs> that's the new love that <laughs> I was going, in the corner, Sarah Day going, Frank? <laughs> She's just happy Sorry, he's not Rich. complaining anymore. I he's knew happy. you were going for it. Did you I, I, find, I find this a beautiful picture. I think <laughs> it's... <laughs> no, see, we never think of the old gay men fucking each other. And right. I, I like to see that the, in their older life, they're still having a bit of fun and getting on with things. That that inspires me, that picture. He's got yeah. a big unit, too, uh, for an old guy. Uh, who knows? The red-lipped fucking man on the end. If, you can't really if, tell. If you got sucked off by that guy, you get that hard as well, man. Yeah, he's fucking... He's, he's a good-looking old What do they guy. do, though, after everyone just shoots the load and you're kind of feeling like... They wait to dust uh, off. God. <laughs> They wipe the dust off the other guy's chest. Yeah, <laughs> they probably call their grandchildren. Yeah. yeah I love you. Yeah. <laughs> they probably go back on the golf course. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> look, look at the tans. Oh, oh, I, I, got the yeah, they got golf tans. Oh, on their yeah, they do. They have golf tans. Home. The guy on his back, they actually put him back in the fucking freezer because he's dead. <laughs> 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 the other two fucking are, are they want creepy to... homoerotic Germans, <laughs> yeah. and they fuck dead men. They, they want to they... save that guy for a few more sessions of before he starts smelling. He rots. <laughs> <laughs> I, I assume anal sex is off off the table by that age, though, isn't it? You know? Not necessarily. Ass sex, like uh, I've always sex, said, man. ass sex is for the young. It's for the young. <laughs> for the you, young. Once you get a lot of hemorrhoids and stuff, you ain't. I, I'm over putting things up me ass. You know what if, I mean? I'm uh, 30 years old. If well, you get too much stuff... In my early 20s, stuff. I was doing things with my ass all day, but now I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even interested. What would you do with your ass all day? put things up there just when you're having a wank or something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, a hairbrush? Just something, just, you know, just you're home, you're alone, and you got some lube, and you just put something up your ass. I'm not gay. I'm just... I'm, yeah, I'm, you just shove some up your ass I'm, while you're, uh, while you're cranking. I'm a, I'm a fun Saul. guy. I'm a all right. Hey, where's uh, where's his comedy? We want to play that going into break. We have it yet? We don't know? Oh, it's quite a long clip. Maybe it was the wrong clip to show. Anybody know? Dan? I should have yeah. brought a CD in. We got it? Um, yeah, it's like six minutes, five or six minutes long. It's yeah. all right. It's, it's burning right now, so. Oh, it's burning? How long will it take? Couple Why months. am I looking at this? I I, I, I'm fascinated by this stupid picture because I'm trying to I... figure out, like, the origin of it. Uh, I just, want to, I just want to know where they all met. Have they known each other for years? Were they childhood friends, or is this a recent thing? Yeah. Is that a hotel room? Is it one of their rooms? Is it, uh, I tell you what it is. is they, it, all, they all met in the waiting room. They were having designer colostomy bags made, <laughs> and they all met in the hotel room because the stitching takes so long to get right. What am I talking about? I, I just don't understand. <laughs> I just don't understand how one of them's flaccid. Like... What's wrong with him? This is the horniest scene ever. How can he not have an What election? does it take for that guy to get a what boner? What does it take? Yeah, I know. Like, how many it's men in the room surgery does he and a need? Pump. Also, my computer's completely frozen, so I can't. Oh, great. Yeah, if you can't, want me to take that down. You can't take that down, can you? Yeah. No, we were trying to move on. Usually, you get rid of the picture. It's easier to move yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, Randy Houston, what's up? I think you guys need to play him and introduce him to Wheelchair Fred and his bathtub experience. Yeah, one of the Thank greatest bits we ever did. God damn, I forgot about that. One of the greatest yeah. bits we ever did, Jim Jeffries. We had this guy, he uh, was in a motorcycle accident, so he's in a wheelchair for good. Oh, it sounds like a lot of fun. And he, he doesn't have much uh, strength, but one day live in our show, he was able to get his body into a bathtub and fuck himself up the ass. What, 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 with we, a dildo. Oh, with a dildo. Yeah. I, th I thought maybe that the accident gave him superpowers. <laughs> no. But why did you put him in a bathtub? Why did he have to do that in a bathtub? He, we just, he just decided that it, it would make cleanup a little easier. Did he have any sensation in his arm? After it, makes the a little, uh, it makes it a little easier to clean up if you do it in a bathtub. See, I didn't even mm. know that paralyzed people can they feel anal sex? Can they, you know, some of them can have sex, some of well, them can't. I wouldn't you think know so. The charges are filed. <laughs> <laughs> because if, if I was paralyzed from the waist down, I'd let people fuck me up the ass as a community service. 
Absolutely. <laughs> throw a buck, throw a yeah, buck on the table. It's not going to hurt me. I've got time in my hands. It's not like I can go back to work. You You're know, a yeah. trooper, man. That's yeah, nice. Yeah, That's very nice of you. Know, you. I'm to help in the community. Let me tell you something. Well, wheelchair friend, he's actually not paralyzed. His, his legs were mangled so bad from the motorcycle accident, he didn't have the right health care. So he couldn't get his legs back in uh, working order. So I guess he's not officially paralyzed, but he's a mess. Right, right. Good I think we're going to replay that uh, at 11 o'clock when we get out of here today. He Andrew, couldn't, uh, yeah. I was right, Would That's you let right. a guy blow you? Oh, uh, no. <clears throat> no. No. Why not? Why do you say, um? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? What's your, what's your reasoning? You've got to have a reason. How about if he promised to fucking, to, to just fucking empty your ball bag? Yeah. What if he had <laughs> no, a hamburger? Absolutely not. How about if he promised to play with that vein from your balls to your ass, and he promised to empty your bag, it would look like fucking Reagan's neck when he was finished with it. <laughs> Taco Bell voucher. No. I hear, I hear potential, though. I hear this is a possibility. What if your eyes were closed the whole time so you don't know it's a no, game? No. Well, and he promised not to make man man moaning noises like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you shut your eyes. You just picture uh, that it's a woman, and uh, it's done. Done well, deal. How about you drill a hole in a wall? We'll make a fake wall. Ah. And we'll drill a hole. Oh, there you go. Oh, I love those. I've done yeah. that. Have you? <laughs> yeah. Glory I, hole. I've put I've put me cock. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, I haven't. No, I'm going to take that back. <laughs> I've done one of those. Which end? Which end? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. The mouth. I'll, I'll tell you the weirdest thing. Obviously, there was it, it, they they have this like sleaze ball ball in Sydney after the game Mardi Gras, and there was this guy, and he's dead now. He died of some type of hepatitis or something, but he called himself the trough junkie, and he used to lay in the urinal trough, right? <laughs> Just lay there for like oh. six hours, and everyone would go piss on him. Like, and, <laughs> holy and, and shit! And you, you need to have a piss. It was the trough. I pissed on him, you know. Like, <laughs> like, you, you need to go. And the guy, he was in heaven. Did he jerk off? Just, yeah, he, no, he was just there wallowing in the water. Naked? Just, no, yeah, yeah, and just people you urinate on him, and he's washing it through his eyes, and, to, and now he's dead. Who knows? How could that happen? I'm sure he, <laughs> sure he picked up something. That's but funny he was you... there every year, the trough junk. He's like a famous guy in Sydney. And you're pissing wow. out of the conversation. How old was he? Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I pissed, That's wild. When, when, what, when what? I pissed on him, I was about... I was about 20 when I first pissed on him, <laughs> and he was about 40-odd then, and I think he probably died at about 46 or something like that. How do they allow that? Like, how were he, was he not arrested? No, and... it was the sleaze ball, ball. It was the whole ball where you could see people sucking off in the corners. They had oh, a big okay. game Mardi Gras, and then they had this gotcha. big ball afterwards. And everyone wants to go along to it, including me and you. We all go along and we watch, you know, fucking people getting sucked off. Wow. I say you get a wall, drill a hole, and Big A won't know you'll have a girl and a guy, and we'll see if he'll know which yeah, is the difference. Yeah, let's go with that. But <laughs> would, you, would you allow that? Like, how about if the guy promised not to say anything to fuck your vibe up? Yeah. Like, while he was... What if there was a 50-50 chance it was a girl right. and it was yeah, through yeah. a hole? You, 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 that's like, it. 50-50 shot. 50-50 yeah. shot, and we do it fairly. It'd be a toss of a coin, whether you got sucked oh, off by a man Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, but we... Oh, Jim. Uh, Jim, would you do that? I would, oh, yeah. I'm would I? Jim, Jim, Jim carries you yeah. a little bit with Don't him. Don't you turn it back <laughs> on me. I, I'm not frigid like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, we got to take a break. Jim Jeffries in studio uh, playing Carolines tonight and yeah. tomorrow and, and Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. And we got a little sample of your comedy here, the egg thing. Sweet, okay. We'll play this uh, for Jim Jeffries, and we'll continue. Stay there. I got, so I got myself the Jenna Jamison rubber vibrating vagina. On the side of the box, it said, vibrate so as to give realistic sensation. Realistic if you're fucking a chick with Parkinson's, but not realistic <laughs> in a full sense. Now I've gone back to my hotel and decided if I'm going to do this wank, it's going to be the wank. It's going to be the wank that when I've got dementia, I'll be sitting in a nursing home going... <laughs> oh fuck the rubber coat! <laughs> so I got me porn mags and laid them down one side of the bed. I put porn on the telly, I got the rubber cut out, and had a vibrating egg that went in the end with a cord or remote control. I lubed up me cock and I proceeded to fuck it. Now it felt okay, but I couldn't really enjoy myself because the only thought going through my head was, if you die right now... <laughs> this is how they'll tell your mum they found you. 
Now, as I've mentioned, I don't have a big cock or nothing. I think the rubber cunt was faulty, but as I'm fucking it, the latex on the top just sort of tears and the egg falls out the end, and I'm pretty upset because it's not like I can take it back to the shop. <laughs> Slap it on the counter and go, look at that. I bought that an hour ago. <laughs> Went home and fucked it. Now that cunt's broken. <laughs> now I still had a lot of lube, still had a lot of porn, still had a vibrating egg. So I did what anyone in this room would do. I lubed that egg up and shoved it up my ass. It's now sitting up against a gland called the prostate gland, the male G-spot, it felt terrific. I was enjoying myself so much, I was already thinking of other things to shove up my ass once I got back to England. <laughs> I slapped me cock a couple of times and I jizzed all over me chest and now I've got jizz all over me chest, lube all over me cock, egg hanging out me ass, broken cunt in the corner. I gotta tell you, I've looked better. <laughs> now, you know that bit of pain that goes through your soul after you've had a wank and you've got a bit of cum on your hand and you go, what did you do that for? <laughs> You're a grown man. <laughs> well, I still had an egg hanging out of my ass. <laughs> Safe to say I wanted to kill myself, so I start slapping the porn off the bed, I turn the porn off the telly, I go to whip the egg out of my ass, the fucking cord snaps off. <laughs> Not only does it snap off, but the two plastic shells of the egg slightly break apart and now pinching against me colon. <laughs> Now your first thought is, well don't worry about this Jim, you can shit this out, but your asshole knows what shit is and it knows what plastic egg is and it don't fucking play cricket in this situation. <laughs> now I don't know if you all know a lot about your colons, <laughs> and nor should you, <laughs> but they're made up of several channels that pump poo through. <laughs> now I've lubed up this finger and this thumb, and I've gone up me ass after the egg, but with every grab I pushed it further and further and further up my colon. It's now up to channel five. And we all know how shit that is. My next thought is to get like a whole lot of high fiber food, make me poo really solid and push the egg out through pressure. Very similar to when Augustus Gloop got stuck in the chocolate tube in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I was working on Wonka method at the time. I could have done with an oompa loompa with a plunger. <laughs> now, as many of you may have already realized, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I didn't know that high fiber food made you poo sloppy. It turns out the protein makes you poo hard. Ironically, I should have been eating boiled eggs. Instead, I had a shit that went around the egg. <laughs> Now, we've only got a limited time together, so let's just jump forward to day number three. <laughs> I decided it was up my ass for another day, I was going to go to hospital. My biggest fear was going to hospital in a foreign country with my accent and going, you'll never guess what's happened to me. <laughs> but being Holland, there's a good chance he could go, you have a neck up your ass? <laughs> go join the queue with the other Australians. <laughs> On day number three, I had a Chinese dinner and I kept me chopsticks. <laughs> now I've gone back to my hotel, I've bent over. At this moment I thought to myself, you probably should have gone to the Anne Frank Museum. <laughs> I put one chopstick on top of the egg in a crowbarring fashion. <laughs> The other one I used to widen the hole. <laughs> In one motion, I snapped this egg out of my ass. <laughs> followed by two feet of shit. <laughs> it was at this moment I thought to myself, I should have done that in the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a lovely young lady showing her breast. Food. 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 Naked. Chuck them. Girls all over the country flashing their lovely boobs. Guess how many boobs I saw today. Can? I don't have those. You are spectacular. Well, me. Wednesday. <laughs> Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. We are back. With uh, Jim Jeffries. Hey. Hey, uh, do wow. people like my stand up comedy? I couldn't listen to it. I'm yeah, sure. absolutely they did. <laughs> You, you don't like listening video. to it? Yeah, listening hear to yourself. God, I did. You guys, you guys, I know nah. you go home after this show and you listen to the whole show oh, back. No. Don't you? Every single you word of it. Hours, no. and you go, yeah. hey. My favorite bit was when we called Voss a stupid prick. I, I, and before we forget, oh. I constantly go, I have to turn me off. Yeah, yeah. I do not want to listen to me. Before it, we forget, we got to go right back to that Anne Frank stuff. That shit was really interesting. It was that, it was I didn't know you were an expert at, uh, no, it wasn't on the radio, and it was oh, good right, stuff. Right. That's good because I didn't know you were an expert on Anne Frank. First of all, I'm not an expert on Anne Frank, and I'll probably say some things here, and there'll be some experts ringing up going, "Well, that's not right." But I, 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 <laughs> no, I went to the Anne Frank house. You know, it's it's not hard to find. There's a big sign out the front. I don't know what took the Nazis so long. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it's it's just a. It's, but the thing is, you always think she lived in like this little tiny studio apartment with like ten of them all packed in there, worrying about that. It's a big fucking flat. It's like two <laughs> stories. They got a no. They got a laundry. <laughs> right, they got a place to wash stuff, and they always go to the Nazis. They had to, they hid behind a, a bookcase, and there was a stairwell up the thing. But it's so obviously a four-story building. If you look at it from the outside, you go, well, there's two stories, and then there's another two stories. If you go in there, there's a shop, and then there's the people who who, right. who used to run the shop live there. I'm sure the Nazi could have asked some simple questions. So what has happened with the rest of the building? Where, where would that be? And why at the at the top of the staircase is there a bookcase stopping the stairs from continuing? The Nazis this seems were to be this seems to be an odd thing. Yeah, it's four stories from the outside, two stories on the inside. Two stories on the inside. It, it, was, it was the opposite them off, of the yeah. Yeah. You think they would have fucking just taken the stairs down and, and like you know? Put the wall up if you're going to help the people. And just what you cemented it in. We've done something. Well, they still alone. had to give them food and stuff. Well, you have to clean a trap door what? or something. A trap door. A trap door. Who are you? And, <laughs> and, and plus the money they made from the gift store. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people say that the, the, <laughs> the space where they were living was cramped. And that's not the it truth. Was, it was cramped for two fa It was like a four bedroom, and there was two families living in there. I think of like four people in the family. four bedroom though. Yeah, but they they couldn't go out very much. No, I wouldn't think you they know, could. There wasn't a lot of outings. But they had well, a night out I'll on the town. I tell you what, though. You look out the fucking Frank's window, beautiful view. <laughs> I'm it? telling you, it's like onto a river and a nice pay of the Dutch people riding on bikes, tulips. Yeah. Tulips, <laughs> fucking like the occasional Nazi would go by and, yeah, uh, and that could... would ruin the view for you, but yeah. it's still. A half track. <laughs> it's, it's much better than any apartment I've ever lived in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, the accountant being dragged down the street. <laughs> yeah, it would wreck the view, but in general. Yeah, I am essential to the war effort. <laughs> Are you? Oh, he's waving and laughing with a shovel. You really, I, can't, I can't believe this. You really can't say anything on this radio show. I, I can't believe it. In, in Britain, you get done for anything. And now we're talking about Jews and... And, well, and, and, well, and Frank, and yeah. And Frank and two girls oh. shitting in a cup. There's like a guy who can't uh, speak yeah. in the corner that we pick on because he's fat. This show's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what it is about satellite radio, you know? <laughs> Big A, he was talking about you. I know, I know. Yeah, he's like the guy out of Goonies used that used to throw a baby roof at. <laughs> <laughs> That's never heard it oh, you know, described that way. And then you were telling us uh, we were getting to know Jim Jeffries a little bit during the break, and uh, they were trying to get a Yo Mama show. 
Yeah. And she was the host. They, they, they wanted me to host a show that was Yo Mama. And Yo Mama is like, I was just a black guy saying, your mama's so fat, she does this, your mama does that, she does this. And they made me host a show, but they just got these middle class English kids that were just going, well, I don't believe you dress well. <laughs> uh, maybe you should try bathing more. And your, your mum, she's probably fat, I imagine. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then at the end there'd be sometimes someone would say something really nasty to another one and go oh, I'm sorry about that that was a bit too much <laughs> oh really yeah. Yeah. what was it called it was called Danger Mouth it never went past the pilot Danger season. Mouth you mouth. know there was a cartoon called Danger Mouth did you get that over yeah. here yeah, yeah it was da- that's the little part. and then Danger when you mouth. said that during the break uh, Rich goes well there's no racism over uh, there's, there. no, raci- no, no, there's no, racism I... in Britain I, uh, no the, I didn't see but I said band. in Amsterdam there's not as much black and white racism as there and is that's here how we got Anne Frank, and I go, yeah. then why do they have to clean the Anne Frank I, statue of swastikas once a month? I didn't say that. I said, listen, you know what I'm saying? Jews are hated everywhere. I said, there's not oh. a lot of black and white racism No, in because Holland. No, no, because they unite in hating England. the Jews. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of racism against Moroccans oh. in, in Holland or Amsterdam. How do you know? Because I've been there yeah, about well, look seven at the, times. Rich knows w- where racism is. He can source racism out. Rich yeah. learns we'll, a we'll, fact. Do, we'll do a quiz quickly. Michael Richard, racist or not? No. All oh, right. His name's Michael. Oh. <laughs> no, Michael Richards, good egg or not? <laughs> Andrew, you feeling a little better? Your hands are all tucked yeah. uncomfortably on your legs. Oh, I know you're sitting like a walrus. Yeah, you got too many <laughs> flippers every, out on every every time you <laughs> mention that. Anne Frank, he puts his hand between his legs. Like just say it. It's, it's a bizarre. Ooh. It's like a little. No, Ooh. he stopped now. Well, we got Frank. <laughs> we got the scale. You want to see if you're over 400? Yeah, pounds? let's okay. take a little peek. All right, we got the scale coming in. It's not a stand on scale. It's like a crane. It is really a heavy duty scale. What was Holy that? fuck! What was the heaviest you weighed there, Big A? That you know of? Oh, Big A, you had. Holy wow. shit! Did you have trouble getting off that couch? It was like a couch getting off a couch. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's when you. That's, that's when you know you're unfit. Big A. When you have to rock off the couch. Yeah, rocking. But he doesn't. He carries it well. It's only a stomach Sussy. that looks a mess. How about those big fucking giant of, of cloth shoes? Hey, Big A, are you, like, shitting properly? Remember we tried to get your duty pulled out of you? That didn't work too well, huh? We, we got the official to come in and read this. Mm-hmm. What is it there? 407. 407. 407. So you said 390. He admitted he was over 490. Uh, I, I, yeah. I, I don't know what that is, but I know there was the episode of Simpsons where Homer had to eat a lot to become 300 pounds to get onto welfare. Yeah. So I assume 400 pounds, 400 whatever the pounds, I think. Yeah, pounds. Yeah. I assume that's pretty big. Yeah, that's, that, that must be weird. Show in England? Wait, what? Simpsons popular in England? Simpsons are popular everywhere. You don't have to do Ooh, the translation. You Simpsons don't have to do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's my only Simpson. I can do Homer Simpson and Cliff Clavin because it's the same voice. <laughs> So Homer Simpson, you go, oh, look, my sweet, nourishing beer, beer the nectar. And then Cliff Clavin, you speed up and go, yeah, you know, the beer was invented in 1842 by uh, children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an impersonator. Please don't come to my show thinking I'm going he to impersonate. He does these impressions. He you think he was the real person. You think it was the real people. Oh, yeah. To Lee Evans. To Lee <laughs> Evans. Lee Evans is, I don't know. I, I'm I, amazed that you can't just look at Big A and say he's fat. You're like confused with the the math translation I'm just, translation I'm just thinking that he 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 doesn't look like he's like he's morbidly obese. Yeah. Let's let's say it, right. <laughs> but he's still getting about. There's stairs in this building. He still made it up. He, I saw him stand up. Well, this, yeah, it was this a little elevator. rough. He didn't do any stairs. There's some women who fucking dig that man. The chubby chasers, man. They're yeah, really into I think it's more guys into fat yeah, women than women into in. fat guys. But I'm sure. Uh, you know, I'm wallet. sure there's a chick out there for you. They're big. A. He looks. Just, he looks like he's about to do a stand-up routine. One hole, two mouths. <laughs> one hole, two mouths. That's what we call the bit. <laughs> fucking a hole in a wall, with two mouths on the other end, and yep. fucking. Uh, big, yeah, yeah. So a guy yeah, on a thing, a. two holes, two. Ma- yeah, and he picks the hole. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah, two holes. Good idea. Yeah, and two holes, gets, and have a guy on one side of the thing, so it's his choice. And Big A gets his fucking prick sucked. Big what a. do you think, Big A? It's a 50-50 shot. It's a 50-50 shot. and, and it's we not bad odds for a, a blowjob. The chick's going to be hot. Yeah. Get your prick sucked. You go into the Hall of Fame if you hit 500. 50, yeah. 50. 
50 50 shot. 50 50, man. Don't what think of the negative aspect of what might happen. Think of the yeah. positive aspect. You, you could be getting can, sucked off by think, some. Don't think. How can you not? Uh, don't think half way, empty. Either way, you're yeah. gonna, either way, you're going to orgasm. That's either right. Way, so the bottom line is do you, either way, the finished result is you shooting a load not on your stomach. You That's know right. what I mean? That fucking that ball bag, you're, it's going to look like a rung cloth. <laughs> Just you're going to drain the seed. You're going to drop down to 398 pounds. Yep. That's seven pounds a ton. <laughs> I got so it. Much. I got it. I did the math there, Jim. Nine pounds. By the way, seven. Big A, you weigh uh, how many stone? 29.07 stones. Jesus Christ. You, <laughs> weigh, you weigh a driveway wall. Now he knows. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's 29 stone. <laughs> now he's freaking out what because he knows he's stone. Hell, man. That's what I'm getting at. My, mom, look my, at my mother's 24 this. stone and walks with a cane and is depressed <laughs> all day. <laughs> Now he knows. That's so funny because he finally can put it in perspective. How, he yeah. might need, you might need your eyes checked, Jim Jeffries. No, he's fucking massive. <laughs> 29 stone. He should be dead like seven times. <laughs> Sorry, man. He looks sad when I said that. that. Is, yeah, he'll just look like that every so often. Yeah. That is an odd thing, though, because it's like someone saying, how much does he weigh? Oh, he weighs $400 yeah. to us. And we'd be like, what the fuck does that mean? It's like $400. I can't understand how much that weighs. But to him, when we say, you know, 400 pounds, it's like it's a fucking unit of measurement for money, not, not weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's he weigh? Tuesday. And then when you find out, it's like, Wait, you know, what does he weigh? Tuesday. <laughs> he weighs Tuesday. Don't you understand how big that is, you idiot? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> It's also 100, yeah. 185 kilos there. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot, that, right? That's, that's, right? That's not in the healthy... Arc. <laughs> no. no. That's not in the bit where the doctors say, yeah, you're a bit <laughs> overweight. Yeah. You could do it's losing some uh, weight, a little weight. That's the type of weight that even if he lost it, he'd have gross skin hanging off him. Yeah, yeah, you'd be like a bat. So you might as well just... Uh, good morning, Missouri. Missouri? <laughs> Why were you on Good Morning, Missouri? I was playing Kansas. They put me on Good Morning, Missouri, and I said the word slutty, so they kicked me off TV. Slutty? I didn't think it was that bad a word. All I said nah. was, I, it was, they said, Have you, how was your Halloween? I never celebrated Halloween before. I said, I thought, I, gonna see, I thought I was going to see a lot of people in scary outfits and get scared. I didn't see any of that. I just saw a whole lot of chicks wearing slutty outfits. I got aroused. Right? Those cunts. Those cunts, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They threw me out for slutty. And then, and then I called the host a slutty bitch, and <laughs> then they know. I just got... got yeah, slutty I, it probably doesn't play well in Missouri. In, not really. Yeah, I would think, like, you probably get away with it uh, here, maybe L.A., you know, definitely Topeka? L.A. Topeka, Kansas. Topeka. I don't think they'd like that. I, I am, um, yeah, the Midwest people. Midwest kind of, like, like we, we, we think of England, or even Australia... Like, it's England and Australia. But then the United States, you know, you got the Northeast, the Midwest, and they're oh, all no, different no, types no, no, of people. No, no. You've got some... You, Britain has the greatest scum in the world. <laughs> really? The, 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 the dividing class is fucking out... There's British people who think you're fancy if you got your original teeth. <laughs> like I'm serious, like 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 proper proper scum in England. Really? You just gotta go to the sport. You watch like football matches. You can't. You have to sit in like in soccer matches. You can't have home and away fans sitting next to each other because they'll just kill each other. Yeah. Right. And there's there's cops all in between. It's not. It's a violent fucking racist scum field. <laughs> <laughs> I dig it, man. <laughs> Thank God you guys don't have guns, man. Oh no. Well, the cops don't even have guns, which I always find weird. Is, is cops that have guns because yep. I'm bigger than some of them and I'm wearing sneakers you yeah. know what I mean so like I just run away you know what are they going to do stop it that's not good blow they, that whistle they have tasers and stuff like that that's, why no guns though I don't get that it's, because I don't people, what, what no cops for the for the, for the citizens or no none for the, for the cops at least I don't know. It's probably a high suicide rate. The cops would probably top themselves or something. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. What the it, exact... Probably they're afraid of getting uh, like some of them st uh, stolen. 
Like the second he even the cops have guns, then they get like misplaced or ripped off, and now a few of the bad guys got more guns. Do, do, do a lot of criminals have guns over there? Or? Of course, yeah, of course. Oh, the criminals yeah, have yeah, them. Yeah. Well, see, my my eldest brother, he's he's a uh, uh, head of the riot squad for the New South Wales Police in Sydney, right? And he reckon well during the opening of the 2000 Olympics. He was laying on top of the stadium as a sniper waiting for a Monica Sellers moment to happen. Ooh, like, just yeah. sort of staring through. And he reckons he had the Australian Prime Minister in his sight. Wow. He was, he was just doing that thing in his head where he's going, alive, dead, alive. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> That's what you do when you just be sitting there going, I, this, this is how much power, this little trigger, and I could change the world and be all fucking, well, he's just killing Australian Prime Minister. What's his name? Does anyone know? No one no. even cares. No one even knows. It's actually no one cares. No, it's uh, Arthur. Treacher. John. No, no, no. Arthur. John. Begins with a B. John Howard. Bertrand. Arthur Bertrand or Bertrand. <laughs> John Howard. Is that it? Yeah. Here's something. Here's something. Who's <laughs> Arthur Bertrand? Did you know. make that up? Or is of that, course I did. Is that someone in charge of something? No. All right. He's a cunt, he is. Here's a big problem I have with uh, Europe in any way, shape, or form. This sounds cool. Right. And then there's this. Yeah. I, I cannot take the European siren on, on police vehicles or emergency vehicles. Why not? What's wrong with that? That's, that's, that's only an ambulance one. The police have a different one. The firemen have a yeah, different one. Yeah, but isn't it all you're, like no, that? No, no, no. You, you get this one? Because that's, you guys that's like... Like, that's like, fucking, like No, that. the fire ones... That's get the fuck out of my way. Yeah, that's the that's oh, that's oh. that's the that's the fireman in Britain. That's the fireman. Yeah, in Britain. yeah, yeah. And they get there and go, all right then. Yeah, they go, all oh, right, little tiny flower. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have hoses. The cops don't have guns. That we don't <laughs> yeah, have hoses. Don't get the fireman hoses. <laughs> we have to. All right, bring, bucket brigade. Bring your own water. <laughs> all right, we call them the bucket brigade. That's, right. that's what I loved about the LA fires and what wasn't there to love. I I I, I enjoy the fact that the reason that LA was burning down is because of all the imported gum trees from Australia. You dumb fucks, right? <laughs> You're, like, they were burning in Australia for hundreds of years, and then someone went, oh, they look nice. We'll put them over in California. They're full of eucalyptus oil. They will burn all day. That's oh, what, yeah. That's the reason. Wow. That's the reason it keeps going. Australia has the worst bushfires in the world, and now California, because you you don't even have koala bears. What do you need the tree <laughs> the eucalyptus for? eucalyptus for, yeah. yeah. What do you need the eucalyptus for? We'll Not sell you the anything. oil if you want to put it on your bloody chest when you've got a thing. We'll sell it to you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need the homegrown stuff. <laughs> so much wasted space down there in Australia. Oh, what a wasted fucking but, land. Yeah, but there's not enough water. We've got water shortages. Yeah, right? but there's ways to pump it in and, and you know, no. look, at, look, at, look at what the US of A did. Uh, we find well, rivers or this or that or desalination plants. Have you been, to the, middle of Australia? Have you been to the middle of Australia? Never. It's not wasted. No one would ever live there. No one would live there. It's just red dirt. It's is it? just the most horrible crap you have ever seen. <laughs> it's, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's one town in the very centre called Cooper Pedy, right? Cooper Pedy. It's so fucking hot and red and shit, right? They all live underground. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, like, there's no type of thing. There's just holes in the ground. With that the fuck out of here. I'm kidding. Yeah. You look oh, up, that's fantastic. You look up Cooper Pedy on the internet, and it's just a town where they all live under the ground. There's underground video stores, and it's just... Are you shitting me? So because it's, it's, it's because it's cooler down there. There's no there's no heat. So, so it's not primitive underground. It's, it's like Fraggle Rock. It's, that's the fucking <laughs> town. It's Fraggle Rock. It's Cooper Pedy. <laughs> I kids, there's even a scene where they go to it in Priscilla Queen in the Desert, where they all where, where she goes. Wow! They how do yeah. they get? To, how do they keep water from flooding them? It doesn't <laughs> rain out there ever. It never <laughs> rains. How do they, they get, get water? water. How yeah. do they, get, they would love a flood. That would be a great day. <laughs> <laughs> they would be so chuffed with that. Did you see little, see little Amy? She died during the floods, but I'm not thirsty anymore. <laughs> Just red clay running down your hole. Oh yeah, it's just red crap. I'm sure. Wow. I'm sure there is some type of ventilation. I, I've only driven past and had a quick look in on a desolate day. I did it once, and I I don't have any need to it's, go there again. It How just many? always struck me as anytime I watch a, a show about uh, the outback and uh, people are out there in their vehicles, and and it just looks like if anything happens. You are so completely fucked. Oh, did you see that Wolf Creek movie? 
Uh, no. Wolf mm-hmm. Creek, that's a scary fucking film. Just about a serial killer who someone... Because that's all these people die. All these British backpackers go, the car breaks down, and they're never found again. Never. Not the car, Not nothing <laughs> is ever found again. Because there's heaps of serial killers out in the middle. They just hang out. In the middle? <laughs> in the middle. It's like a doing? fucking video game. <laughs> yeah, there's heaps of serial killers. There was this one guy, which is Ivan Milat. And they caught him for like fucking ten people. They're giving him ten life sentences. So they can't. Wow. They can't put him in prison for any longer. And his last thing is he left the court. Is he went? They'll never find all of them. Hey, they'll never find them all. And then occasionally they find another body. He goes, Oh, you got me. <laughs> that's, that's me as well. That was another one of mine. Did you find a boyfriend? Oh, she didn't have a boyfriend. No, 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 no. Wait, how long? How oh, long wow. did he kill for? What's that? How long did he kill for? They, how long did they kill for? How long did he kill for? I oh, it uh, th- th- could have been anywhere between 10 and 20 years. Oh, wow. Uh, that, that, Fuck. He's, he, he's really... He was, this, see that Wolf Creek, man? That's fucking... Because that's I'll based, that it's thing, based yeah. on a true story. It's based on a true story of these British people that just went that's missing. Something. And, they, and they, there's petrol stations in Australia where if you don't stop at that petrol station, if they, if they see you drive past, they go... Well, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> you have to stop. That's the one you have to stop at. No matter if it's even just to top yeah, it off a yeah, little bit, you've yeah, got to stop. You've got to stop there because there's not one for another thousand <laughs> miles or some fucker like that, right? And, and it's like it's like people drive past it going, well, that petrol's a bit pricey. He's <laughs> <laughs> dead. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, I suggest you just pay what they ask. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Nashville. Neil, what's oh, up? That's great. We're hanging with Jim yeah. Jeffries. Yeah, I was just going to mention the town he's talking about, Coober P. at Miller, Australia, is where they filmed a lot of the uh, scenes for uh, Star Wars and stuff. And that's where they have a lot of the replica ships that they were just so big, they didn't move them. They just left them out in the middle of the desert where you can go visit them and stuff. It's so far out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. How about that? That's all I got. <laughs> a little knowledge. Spe- speaking of Star Wars, I'll tell you a little story. I don't know if this is funny or not. My other brother, not the cop, my other brother was the property manager of Fox Studios when George Lucas uh, came to do Attack of the Clones, right? Because they did that in Sydney, right? Mm-hmm. And so my brother is sitting there. He's such a fucking dick, right? <laughs> and, and he's sitting there with George Lucas, and he goes, uh, he, and uh, George Lucas is about to sign the contract, and he goes, can I be a stormtrooper? And George Lucas goes, well, all the stormtroopers in this film are going to be CGI, so I'm sorry, you can't be a stormtrooper. And then he goes, oh, is there like a, a bar scene like in the first film? Could I, <laughs> oh, could I no. be like a bounty hunter or something like that? And then George goes, look, the entire film's already cast. And my brother goes, for fuck's sake, George, I'm giving you a good deal, right? If you watch, if you watch Attack of the Clones, right, when Obi-Wan Kenobi chases the bounty hunter into the bar, there is a lizard at that bar. My brother, right? <laughs> and, and his eyes follow the camera like he just sort of gives it a... <laughs> I know that's not good but that is a I true story. I have to see that now. I'll have to watch oh, that That's your part. brother. What Fuck. a tool. What was he giving the, uh... Giving the eyes like uh, Pee Wee did in uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> Got the movie part. <laughs> Paging Mr. Herman. <laughs> Looking into the camera. Uh, he's been a few. He was in. Uh, he, he's an extra in The Matrix and he's an extra in Moulin Rouge. And really? Just, well, he just. He had all this power at the studio and he was meant to be the guy in charge and instead he's just, he's a just fucking, extorting parts out of these people. <laughs> he's just a fucking idiot. I was an extra in Moulin Rouge in the fucking. The bit where the Cole Kidman's swinging everything, but you can't see me. But I was in a top hat waving money, but I never get on film. But I. <laughs> I spent a day watching her on a trapeze thing going, no matter how they paint that chick, she's never quite hot. I'm sick and, t- I'm sick and tired of people telling us what hot chicks are on, on movies. They're going, oh, Nicole Kidman's a sex symbol. Is she? Who fucking decided this? Is that is that weird looking pasty skin ginger bird a sex... And like, just like, have, you, have you seen like that that, that, that movie, I, my, girl, my Girlfriend's a Superhero or something that I haven't oh, right. my, it's a piece uh, of... My ex super... Yeah. yeah. Stop telling me Uma Thurman's good looking. She's fucking not. Her eyes are too far apart. She's got this weird fucking head. She's about 45 now. Right? And she's, she's in these films and people are going, oh, she's the best looking woman I've ever seen. You can't fucking polish a turd and tell me it's chocolate. You know, you know you're exactly right because who the fuck do they say every year has the best smile? Who? Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Oh, she's got the greatest smile. And you see her smile now, and it's just like she's getting this picket te- uh, fence thing going yeah, yeah, yeah. with her teeth. And her lips are ridiculous. They're not attractive at all. No. But people tell you, uh, some magazine tells you that that's uh, how no, it is, and no, you're supposed to go, oh, okay. She doesn't have a nice smile. The, the, the sexiest women 
uh, the hundred sexiest right. women, and someone like you know Hillary Clinton will make it on there because right. she's a strong, powerful woman, and that's sexy. Yeah, 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 Shut yeah. the fuck yeah. up you, and show some ass. Yeah, Do you guys sexy. get Charlotte Church over here? You get Charlotte Church. Oh yeah, oh, yeah I've yeah, seen her. Yeah. She was the little kid. The thing. She, she, yeah. She's, she's like massively famous over she's there. She's massively famous. She has her own Tonight Show. Not over here, but... They keep on telling her she's one of the top ten. She's just this fat little piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> she's a mouthy fucking... I wouldn't Cunt. fuck... I wouldn't <laughs> fuck her again, man. <laughs> yeah. Let me, uh, let, let's go to Marilyn. Ah. Hey. What's up, Marilyn? Hey, guys. Hey. I wanted to make a comment about um, Jim Jeffrey saying about the movie Wolf Creek. Yeah. Uh, it's a really good movie, actually. I saw it. It's one of my favorites. Uh, and I'm not going to give away the whole movie. Well, but don't. There's two, guys, two girls and one guy. He kills the girl. two girls and the guy gets away. I'll give it away for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, well, the girls wake up, and they're more concerned about trying to find everybody else in their group. And the funniest part about it is the guy wakes up, doesn't even look, and just, he's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. Yeah, d did you see those birds? They were English. He didn't want them. He, he, he was just yeah. trying to, you know. If you're going to save your own life, if they've already been serial killed, I think one of the girls was already dead by that scene in the film. They cut her spine out so that then, then he rapes her, but she's got no sensation. She's oh. just a head. Like, she's now like a quadriplegic, and so she's awake during the whole thing. Oh. It's a great film. Wow. Documentary? <laughs> <It's> fucked up. <laughs> hey, let's say hi to John in Jersey. John. Hey, uh, Jim Jeffries, love the comedy. God, I have a question for you. You ever, uh, you ever try to suck your own dick or succeed in sucking your own dick? I've tried when I was younger, but I've grown up since then and realized that I'm not an athletic man, or am I flexible? If you couldn't do it as a kid, you ain't going to do it as an adult. Exactly. Yeah. You're at your most flexible as a way. kid. I can't touch my toes. <laughs> and that seems to be yeah. mandatory you if to, you're going to suck your dick. When do you have to retire from that sport, like 13 years old? I Not probably. Does your body change where you just can't throw the curb? I would think yeah. 16, you got to try to 16. stop sucking your own dick. I thought it was Arr. last night. Because <laughs> at that point, you, by 16, you still might be nimble, but you'll have that strength to uh, maybe, you know, pull yourself over. over. Anybody, you'll have better abs. Does anybody know anybody that's ever done it? Seen it in movies. Yeah, it, uh, Ron Jeremy does it. In yeah, Ron Jeremy's Ron Jeremy done it. Do it. And he doesn't bend that far. Seen it in really? movies. He just sort of ducks his head down a little bit. Yeah, like a fucking... Yeah, he, he makes himself come and fucking... Yeah, he's, he's fucked up right he's there. He's a good guy, isn't he, man? Is it gay? Do you shoot in your mouth or what? What do you do? Is that guy? I don't think gay. it is gay. Is it? If you're sucking your own dick, you is it gay? If you no shoot way. in your mouth. No. It's your own cock. It's fantastic. It's your own cock. <laughs> Touch your, your own dick. That's like saying you're wanking. Is that make you gay? Ah, you, uh, you know something? You're wanking other guys' cock Brings up a good point. Jerking off is jerking off. If you're thinking of another guy while you're sucking your dick, then you're gay. That's right. If you shoot polish it black before you suck it, you're a fool. If you videotape it and watch it back, you're gay. If you lie and then come in your own mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fact. <laughs> if you do it for money. Yeah. If you have a friend suck your balls at the same time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> By the way, the people out there didn't forget about Big A. You know, we're trying to get this thing done where you get your dick sucked through like a fucking wall. Same uncomfortable hand motion. By the way, right. his little hands pointed out. Yeah. There'll be a guy and a girl on the other side of the wall. You stick your dick in the hole and either the girl or the guy sucks you. 50-50 shot. 50-50 shot. And we'll, we won't tell. We'll, and just, we'll, we'll just flip the coin and then just tell the person. No, no, no. We give him the choice of a hole. Yeah. yeah. He, he has complete control. They go like that. Yeah, so he can just... So you have complete control. It's like in definitely. Flash Gordon when he puts his hand into that hole thing and he could... It's, well, an, old, it's an old film. Well, <laughs> and we'll let you plug any buffet. Right. <laughs> well, there's a long way to read uh, a couple of feedbacks, but someone from their cell phone writes, We saw his cock. How thin is this wall? Oh. oh. <laughs> Tissue paper. Uh, well, funny you should say that. Uh, Mark C. from Jersey. His fucking baby dick wouldn't reach through a piece of paper. Forget a wall. What's wrong with Andrew's dick? You I, think it's I, fine. Know, I think the wall needs a shelf coming out with something for him to rest his gut on top of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he can get like as much leverage in there as possible. Like, as much dick. So maybe if we have them in cardboard boxes so he could stand above or something. Mm -hmm. or you know, Andrew's, uh, and he, how big is your penis? Average. Your average penis. Um... Pick mm -hmm. us average. What size? What size? Don't say you don't know. What either. size erect is it? What measurement? <laughs> That's what it is. In stones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a Wednesday cock. It's Wednesday. <laughs>
What is it? <laughs> My cock is three pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> How I guess it's about five inches, I guess. Now remember, That's relative to you, right. you know, the Earth is big, but when you put it next to Jupiter, <laughs> eh, not so big. First of all, five is not average, I don't think. Yeah, six six, a, six and a half is Second average. Second of all, get yeah. the hell out yeah, of here. Five six is average. Half. Six and a half is average. Five is average. Six and a half is average what, in your cent country. Centimeters? Maybe. Yeah, we're, we're, very, we're very big down under. Yeah. Worst joke of the day. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> and second, everyone lies about their dick size. And now we're talking your... You're tacking some on. You're closer I'm, to like I'm, I'm six inches and just a little bit. And and it's quite wide, I've been told. But I, they're never going to tell you different, are they, women? Because they're lies. If they're related to you, <laughs> they'll tell you the truth. Really? <laughs> is, right. is, that why you had, is that why you had daughters? <laughs> Big A, the five Thickerson. Yes. Uh, Big A, you need uh, money? I was told it, uh, Big Girth. Big Girth? Yeah. Big A, you need money? Oh, his eyes lit up. <laughs> He's smiling like Julia Roberts. He's Big Girth. You're going to need a wide hole. If we, yeah. Uh, if we measure... That was just some girl telling you you were Big Earth. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> new bit. New bit. New bit, because he's not too good. He's what? not going to do the cock-sucking bit. Sure he will. Why not? Well, all, right, sure all, right, will. all right, all right, wait, wait, wait. Maybe, maybe we can change the odds a little bit. All right, two How about girls, three one holes? Guy. Yeah, two yeah. girls. Two girls, one guy. Now you have a 33 and a third percent chance of getting you have, fucked you have off. 66%. 66.6% 66. Right. Chance. Percent six, chance six, of six, getting six, a, six, a six, girl. Six, six, six. That's the devil's number, my friend. Yeah. What do you think? How much? How much? How much? We want to measure your penis. <laughs> <laughs> how much? How much? Why? We want to measure your That's penis. That's what we're getting Why? at. Why? Okay, you guys, you no, guys, no, hold no. him up, and You're, I'll get the no, scale. No, <laughs> the bit is simple. You say you have a five-inch dick. I will give you a thousand dollars if if it measures to five. Well, you really want to get rid of this thousand bucks? I know. What is He's got to get a, a hard on. No, but let, let's we're say... We're not measuring it. We'll get a chick. We'll do it. No, I think that's fair. I, I, I tell you what. There. I will do this cock sucking in the hole if it's three to one. <laughs> if it's three to one, that's good stats. But I've got to be hot chicks, and I've got to see who I got done by afterwards. Three to, three to, three to one. Yeah, yeah, and a hot guy. He's got to look like fucking Ricky Martin. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be sucking my dick. <laughs> yeah, really? You don't want some fucking... In fact, you don't want him what's Ricky dick Martin dick? doing these days? We haven't seen... Where is he? He's sucking dick behind a fucking board. Ricky Martin has to be the guy. Would you... Now you say you and you want to see the chick that did it when you're done. What would you want to know? I'd want to know. You stick your dick in the hole. There's I, three holes. I, Two I, girls, one guy. You get a blowjob. You come. It feels great. You think it's fantastic. You want to know. I want to know. What I if want, it was the guy and you're like, this, that was a great I, blowjob? Look, get his I'm, number. I'm running short of material at the moment. This is right up my alley. Look, <laughs> look you're going to be in town for a while. Don't make us go with this. <laughs> actually, I'm, 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 I'm back this on tour in this country in March. You have a lot of time to plan this. I will be back. It doesn't mean it's not that hard to drill a hole. But, yeah. I, I tell you what, I, I want a contract because if I get behind those three guys behind that wall or something, I'm fucking suing. Right, right. I'm we never we suing couldn't possibly life. have you, that. You have to be fair. They'd have to be two real fucking and smoking he, yeah, hot. He can't be the guy. No. I will know no. if there's a stutter on the end of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on, Big A. We want to measure your penis. It can be soft. It doesn't matter. Who's going to oh, measure girl. his penis? Well, there's a girl out there. Will she measure it? A soft is not going to get the job done. That's going to be way less than five. Oh, yeah. We're just curious, soft. Come on, I'm curious. Do you really yes, reckon that shield goes up? Go on, let's get, get, get him hard. Is, here, is, big uh, a, how about you just pull your underpants hard. out, and, and then Jimmy can take a peek. I don't want to take no, a peek. No. Just to see what no. Just give us a look at it. Do you want to get him hard? Put a roast beef on the have table. You, have, 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 you, have you lads seen it before? <laughs> no. Uh, I think we sorted it. When the nah, see, he got a handy through his underwear. Like under it through his underwear get, leg. It definitely got Did he come? Uh no, there were there were issues that day. Yeah. 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 Do you mind if I nervous. retell the story? Andrew, Andrew doesn't <laughs> like this, but he no, he nervous. hates the story. Two uh, uh, prostitutes, Wait, Andrew, what's ladies the of the evening from. Were they nice? Yeah, turn off the spotlights. If you're in the shadows, maybe he you'll hates feel this more story. Why does he hate this story? Andrew, two girls from the Bunny Ranch came in. Yes, and we got them to you know mess around with Big Gay. One girl tried to jerk him off, but he never got hard. Never came, and then something happened because one of the girls ran out of the studio crying. <sighs> He, uh, we actually got a prostitute to run out of the studio. What, crying. what did you do to her, man? What did you do to her? 
It was just a bad day for Big A, right, Big just, A? Yeah, he was nervous. It might have been some black him. stuff on her hand, and it might have smelled really bad that it got her crying. The underpants. What did you put on her hand? The, the black stuff from the black underpants. Stuff. Like, like, you ever take socks off, and you got your fucking little bit of little sock stuff stuck what, to your lint? clothes? Lint. Like a bit of lint. Wait, it was lint? She, this, no. this girl sucks I, cock the, for a living, and she was worried about a bit of lint. It must have no, been worse than that. All these months, I thought it was rotting skin, but it was just lint? Well, put it this way, it was yeah, probably lint that. that had been in a cadaver's asshole. I, I reckon his <laughs> cock fucking loses its skin like a snake. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tarantula cock. It just shed. It just no. shed. They find me just the yeah, skin laying yeah, there. You just go, oh, it must be summer. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little nervous. He couldn't, I mean, it's hard to perform sexually in front yeah. of people. But yeah, you're all no, right with that, right? It's so long ago. I, I worked very <laughs> briefly in the porn industry. Very, oh, very briefly. Oh, that. No. As a presenter on the adult channel in Britain, when I first started doing comedy, they used to have the porn stars doing the pre presenting in between the things, right? And so I got this job doing the next on the adult channel, we have four things and a whatever, right? And I went on the set of one porn once where they had celebrity lookalikes fucking, right? And it was <laughs> and it was Britney, Britney Spears and Eminem, right? And they couldn't get a guy to look like Eminem, so they just put him in a regular hockey mask and dungarees and gave him a chainsaw, right? <laughs> Be between, sh between shoots, between oh, shoots, fuck. they're trying to keep, this guy's trying to keep hard, like, while they're changing the set, right? I'm standing off in the corner. He's wanking off. He's still got the hockey mask on. He's wanking to stay hard. And he looks over at me and he goes, Hey, Jim, how'd you get into comedy, mate? And I went, you know, I, I did some open spots in, up in bars around Sydney, you know, this way. He's still waking and he looks at me and he goes, I don't know how you do that, mate. That's got to be the hardest job in the world. <laughs> but he never stopped waking, not for a fucking moment. Like, don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> Small talk. I Jack it off. stay hard. Yeah. Uh, did Britney look like uh, Britney? Yeah, she looked all right. It was a girl called Katrina Clark, if you look her up on the internet. Yeah. She, she, was the, she was the porn. But it's British porn. Because I remember I was getting paid 700 pounds for the day for all the links, right? And I had a little hissy fit because they had me there from 6 in the morning till 6 at night. And I had a little temper tantrum and just went, Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm a professional fucking comedian. I don't need to be here all day. They said it would take three hours. 700 fucking quid, 700 pounds. They could all go get fucked. <laughs> and then the girl who took it up the ass looks at me and goes, I only got 300. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt really bad. And then I thought, fuck it, I got 700 quid in my pocket. I might buy the bitch for the weekend. <laughs> It's British I don't think I'm endearing myself to all of America no, right now. this is great. It's Are awesome. you shitting me? Our listeners love you. Is <laughs> British porn that much different than American porn? Well, the thing is, I like American porn because at least with the accent, I can assume that they're classy sort of, hey, you know, fuck me up the ass. That's really good, you know? Like, oh, I, oh it's sexy for me. But then the British porn, I know exactly where that slap is from. You know what I mean? Yeah. Their, their accents are so real. It's like, all right, do me up the fucking shit. And that's fucking great, that is. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> right? And you just go, that's not sexy. See? <laughs> I think that girl might be from Liverpool. <laughs> Plus, they're not cut, are they? Over there. What? Not circum I'm circumcised. All Australians are circumcised in during the seventies because of you know sand and heat and stuff, right? Yeah, the red but, dirt. Yeah, no, they've got they've got that that sweaty hood on the top of them. <laughs> That's fucking. I tell you what, British chicks, man, when they see a circumcised cock, it's a novelty for them. They like the, they they look at it. They you know they like it. Yeah. Yeah. So Big A, we'll, we'll put a British girl on yeah. the other side of the wall. Get the, are you uh, clipped, uh, Big A? Oh, um, um, yes. Oh, really? Yeah, think yeah. about it. You really yeah. enjoyed that yeah. gum. He would have been really heavy if he kept it. <laughs> yeah, right. Big fat foreskin. Yeah, if he had that big fat five pound <laughs> foreskin <laughs> thing, it way about the top, eight like a stone. great big calamari <laughs> ring that you could fit around your head. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Looks like. <laughs> oh, I'm never going to eat calamari. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's like giant squid melted, <laughs> pulled out of the fucking ocean. You do the prostitutes, Jim? The end of his <laughs> What's that? You do the prostitutes? Do I do prostitutes? Yeah. I have done, but I don't do any on a regular basis. No. No, well, it's illegal in this country. Well, that's what they I say. Have, I have done it in, in Amsterdam because, you know, it's I'm a tourist. When you yeah, work in the clubs in, in the States here, are girls hitting on you after the show? I, I, I've had a bit of sex since I've come to this <laughs> town. A bit yeah. of sex. Yeah. I, I've, I've had a little, little, little go. In New York or on the road? 
Uh, not in New York yet. I'm only, uh, during the Leary gig, I, I went straight out with the, my management agents and stuff like that, and so I didn't get to see anyone after the gig. I thought I could have gotten laid down. And then, but see, the weird thing about Dennis Leary is, right? Did you notice, right, that? He used to be, when I was young, he was like this hip sort of like dangerous comic. Now, because of Rescue Me, he seems to be like a 40-year-old fat woman sex symbol. He's like, he's like 50 years old. It's just like, like when we left, there was all those women waiting at the stage door yeah, yeah. with photos. It's like, I love you, Dennis. I love you. And it's just this fat fucking piece of shit that looks like him in a wig, right? It's just getting things. So, no, you're not a piece of, you're a good Wait till guy. You do an right? an <laughs> Wait till you do an O&A show. What's, hey, but yeah, at least they were women. <laughs> Dennis Leary was saying from the stage that he's looking more and more like uh, an aged uh, lesbian. Exactly. An aging uh, lesbian. He, he I is, think he's a good looking guy. He's 50. He said he's, that. he's cut. He's got good looking hair, man. He's talented, man. I mean, yeah, by the way, I, on the woman thing, first of all, I haven't been laid in New York. If any woman wants to lay me in New York, <laughs> uh, they'll put a picture of me up on the website or just go to my MySpace page and come along to the show this don't, evening. Don't do the picture. Let him hear your comedy because that's, you know. Jeez, that's a nice yeah, backhanded but, but, compliment. Yeah, but they have listened to me for like two hours to yeah, already today. The, 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 the girls like humor, but then when they put your your face Are to you your humor. Are you saying he's ugly? Humor? No, no, I'm just saying. What, what, what are you doing? Girls like humor. I'm complimenting them. I mean, you humor. Asked Dave from Tennessee. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, hey Dave. Rich, why was the first question you asked about British porn that the guys are unclipped? Because it's so gross. If you're going to watch porn... Because Rich is a fucking Peter Pumper. <laughs> Rich likes to looking at a nice cock in yeah. porn. And you sat and stared at the old men's cock for 15 minutes. No, I was staring at the whole situation. Yeah, and the whole and situation. And pondering that situation. based around the one cock. No, 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 no. For no. me, it did. It the whole, <laughs> Rich, it's My okay. favorite you porn cock for a little extra, extra drugs. That's extra right. drugs. Uh, right. Back in the day, you dressed up for your drug dealer because you knew he liked you. And Let's not go down that. off jean shorts. Let's not go down that road again. Here's what I'm saying. If you're gonna look mm -hmm. at porn, yeah, you don't want. It's getting old, right? If you're gonna look Maybe at porn, you. you look at porn. <laughs> you, everybody. You want to see a nice cock? You want to see everything? The whole, the whole show wants to be. You know, you want to see movie, the helmet? You don't like to not be able to see the cock helmet? Yeah, I gotta yeah. see cock in porn. I'm not interested. Just straight <laughs> yeah. lesbian porn. I'm not. I'm not yeah, interested. It's I gotta see cock. I told you're you right. before. Yeah, Rocco Cefetti's the best porn when star you watch, in the world, man. Yeah, he is. I agree. When I go to porn, Nacho, Nacho's good. He's the best. When you watch Rocco Cefetti, there's a little bit of your brain that goes, "She might die." <laughs> when you look at porn on the internet, you go to girls sucking guys' dicks. That's more exciting than two girls getting down, don't you think? To yeah, me, I like to see a girl say, I yeah. like to see like one girl and like several cocks in a thing. I like yeah. to see her being destroyed. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, that's my thing. Being I don't, destroyed. I, I tell you what, I've had threesomes and stuff, right? I once had a threesome with three girls. That was definitely one girl. That's for foursome, right? There was there was uh, three girls there, right? It was one girl to me. It was like fucking spinning plates trying to keep everyone happy. <laughs> and one of them, it was sort of involved in the deal that the fat friend came along and I was like fucking humping the fat one and just staring at the good looking one and the corner it was one of the most disturbing moments of my entire yeah, life. Yeah, what the fuck is she doing here? Yeah, yeah, but you have to. You can't mm. just go no. You, you have to. That's oh, a trooper, no, man. You pull out and come on the fat one. Yeah, angrily. Yeah, I, that, I, I was taking a lot of coke back then. I, 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 I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't for a while since I've been in this country. Yes, it's illegal here. Is it? <laughs> yeah, well. It is everywhere I hear. <laughs> uh, I, when do you, you go know, back? When do you go back? I go, I go back on Monday. I get That's on the it. plane. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm not, I haven't been taking any drugs in this country. Do you, like, uh, perform all over the world or just... Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, I do, you know, little, I mostly do Britain and Europe, but I do, like, uh, I've done, like... South Africa, and I've done a lot of gigs out in Hong Kong and uh, Tokyo, wow. and most of that's for like uh, businesses, company type of things. But I've done yeah. those a few times. You go to the sex clubs. We, uh, we were just learning about the sex in clubs. Bangkok. The sex. I would. I, I wouldn't fuck a hooker in, in in Bangkok. It's just too dodgy. Like you will catch something, but the, everything's a sex club there, right? I was going into sex club to sex club to sex club, and eventually I was just like over it. I was saying to the guy who was showing me around, I was just like, Can you, I just don't want to go to a sex club anymore, man. Just a normal bar. That's all I want. Just a normal bar, right? I go into this normal bar, and I'm like, thank fuck for that, man. Like I was, I was sick of this. And then he taps me on the shoulder. And he goes, look up. And I look up. It's a glass ceiling, and it's all these 
these girls in schoolgirl outfits sitting with no underwear <laughs> just on the thing. And that was that was the least sex bar he could take me to. With, with, with numbers written on their asses so you could choose which one. <laughs> in Africa, when you were in Africa, like... South Africa. What, where, Sun City or... No, I did, I did Cape Town. Sun, in Sun City. City. Ah, Jesus ain't gonna Christ. Play Sunset Are you out of your fucking mind? Isn't that South How Africa? old is he? Isn't that South Africa? Isn't that yeah, a South Africa. There? There is no fucking Sun City. Oh. There's no big fucking Sun City anymore like that. That was oh, oh, Cape Town is a cracking place, place, man. Listen, fucking That's history buff. I don't keep up my. I'm just asking him questions about the fucking poverty. Yeah, fucking, yeah but you're way off. Hey, did you play Mesopotamia? <laughs> 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 fucking. Did you play Mesopotamia? <laughs> Make sure you get your contract on papyrus. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm doing a tour of Persia, chiseled in stone. <laughs> You couldn't fucking grow in Africa. No, I, I, There's no way. I, uh, I stabbed my girlfriend when I was in Africa. I cheated on her with this bird, and fucking uh, the condom busted, and I was so worried. But the cool thing about South Africa, one of the nicer things is they'll do you an AIDS test in like 10 minutes, right? And because one in four people there have AIDS... <laughs> you don't want to know that quick. Why, why are you waiting there? Why are you waiting there for your AIDS test? I'll bring someone with AIDS to come down and sit with you and go... It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. Just when it comes through, they go, look at me, I'm all right. It's oh. not bad. You heard so of Magic Johnson? Oh, He's all right. Yeah, so When's Magic Johnson going to start looking like he's got AIDS? <laughs> Never. How long is that going to take? Like, Never. I'm staying, he looks so healthy, I'm starting to think I want AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> we send them rubbers to South Africa to help the AIDS, and they take them and staple them on paper and pass them out. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, just know, a joke, though. We're just, just having a bit of a laugh. There's just no knowledge. Or some, I'd be a fucking well, king there, there. I tell you what, there is, there is a bad thing king. in South Africa with some of the less educated areas where they think if you... If you fuck a virgin, that takes the AIDS away from you. Yeah, so there's yeah. a big rape yeah. thing with young girls yeah. and everything. And yeah, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to joke you. about that because that's pretty yeah. fucking yeah. Well, they're in advanced culture. They're very good people. Yeah. Have you ever performed uh, at Brokerage in Long Island? Because I'll be there this weekend. Oh, I've never been to <laughs> nice Long segue. Island. Nice segue. Jesus, dude. What, I know, are you but... fucking, what are you doing? <laughs> you. Nice yeah, segue. Uh, yeah. Your mom. <laughs> that's what she said. All right, we're gonna we're gonna uh, do line of the day and get out of here. I have to tinkle. Bad what's line, what's, of the day? what's line of the day? Is that some famous person who said something? No, we oh, just... it was. See, we are very competitive on this program, and uh, am I every, up for an award? Do every I day, do? you could be oh, very well right. be. Yes. So uh, every day, uh, the uh, little little quips, little lines that we've all thrown out willy nilly during the day are reviewed by our crack staff, and uh, there are a couple of runner ups for today. And one winner, which is dubbed Line of the Day, which, uh, according to our crew, is the funniest knee-slapping, hearty-har-har thing that was said all day. All right. A very competitive program. I, I, I just want to say something really funny now. I could still win. You can't play. get it under the wire. Uh. Sometimes <laughs> some people say something yeah. funny. And this is a trick that people have been using. Uh, after the runner-ups, someone will throw something funny out and go, that was Line of the Day. <laughs> Doesn't work that way, fella. And it's uh, brought to you by BodogFantasy.net. Free live scoring stats, bios, and news that will help you win big this season in fantasy football. All at BodogFantasy.net. Here's a runner-up line of the day. He would have been really heavy if he kept it. <laughs> yeah, right. Big, fat foreskin. Yeah, if he had that big, fat, five-pound <laughs> foreskin. Thing it weigh about the top. Like a stone. great big calamari <laughs> ring that you could fit around your head. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Runner up. Thank you. You got a runner up Thank so you. far. Hey, how good must these other lines be oh. if that is the fourth last one? That's fourth runner up, man. Wow. Let's play another one. Another runner up line of the day. No, we didn't hear you. What Seriously, was that? It could have been a good you, one. You said there's nothing worse than the F word. I go tell dog that. We heard you. <laughs> 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 Not quite a line of the day, uh, uh, an insult. That of was the day. more of a zing. Yeah, yeah it was a zing. zing. All right. Any Thanks. any abuse of Rich Voss though uh, deserves some Big credit. A, any so. plugs? Uh, 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 nothing much now. Oh, and no plugs. <laughs> uh, Ron, Ron and Fez at noon. No, <laughs> no Ron and Fez today. Why? Why aren't you saying know. anything? Yeah. What? You don't like those guys anymore? What happened? What they do to you? Um, uh, uh, biggie, Biggie, what happened? <laughs> what happened? What happened? Wow, nothing. Uh, you have a falling out? Oh, uh, uh, not at all. 
Oh, wow. Why are you, oh, wow. Is he twitching? Why, and why are you nodding your head up? Really? No, you're you're like nodding, nodding your head up and down. <laughs> I got to call him like I see him. Who was it? Ronnie? Ronnie jumped on you? No, no. Why are you giving us a thumbs up on that? I just say that. Holy shit. Ronnie, what did he do to you? He threw you out of the studio. He doesn't no, want you in. Never. He was mean to you. Oh, he's no. mean to you. All right. All right. Why are you writing notes now? You can just say it. Jesus, Ronnie was be being scared. mean. Okay. <laughs> what happened? Pain. Nothing. Hell is you? You what? You want to start getting paid? Now you're just making things up. If you're now you're just yeah, making things up, okay. making things up on paper. <laughs> I, know. I know, but the other stuff. Was but real. don't you pay him? <laughs> if you're yeah, you All feel right. if you're working for them, you know, in some capacity, you want some cash. I understand. All right, here's All another right. runner-up line of the day. You got a horn from a, a, a locomotive in the guy's closet. Yeah, and uh, where'd hit it? Where's right, right now a train's hitting a car. <laughs> and, and the engineer's pulling on the horn. They go, what the hell? <laughs> it just sounds like an alarm clock. <laughs> that was a funny little tag on that hmm. that no one really picked up on. <laughs> the whole <laughs> juxtaposition of train horn and alarm clock. How silly would that be? <laughs> Ring. <laughs> What that was good. To... We'll give that one to Voss, though. That was that was Voss. Yeah, that was, that was Voss. Uh, so we've all had one so far. Okay. Yeah, three. Yeah. Go. One more uh, runner-up line. Ooh, mm -hmm. we can see your golden years being spent oh. growing old together, and here he is dipping it in a nursing home. Yeah, but this guy, he's still, he's also in love with the dresser, his lamp, and <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what could beat that runner-up? That was my that favorite. Been nice. Nice. That, yeah. Oh, I'm not disputing. I'm happy I'm included. Jim Jeffries, Caroline's Tonight, Tomorrow, and Sunday. I highly, highly recommend you go see his comedy. He's he's amazing. And as far as Voss is concerned, he will be watching me at the Borgata January 18th and 19th, Martin Luther King's birthday weekend. Get tickets to Borgata.com in Atlantic City. All right. Brokerage next week. All right, guys. Flannery's Friday. Brokerage. <laughs> Belmar. I'm Long very Island. excited about the winner. Here's me your too. line of the day. What does he? I? Oh, All right, that was a cluster fuck. Look at that guy on the chair. What what happened, e Rock? What did you do? Oh, now they're pelting him with paper. e Rock, what did you do? No, I don't have my original settings here, so it. it uh, no, no. Right. What did you do wrong? I Just... hit the line of the day too early instead of it being automated after the. Yeah, <laughs> 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 they throwing shit at him. All right, all right, give it a little right. shot because you, you, you I like this first attempt at, as an ex at an excuse. My settings aren't uh, properly uh, calcula yeah. uh, calibrated. Uh, what did you do? I hit it the wrong time. The board was set to competent, so it was uh, <laughs> completely foreign to it. <laughs> Up top. Yeah, you got to set that board to beginner. <laughs> go ahead, Iraq. Do, do it again. Ahead, You'll be fine. Line of the day, go. Here's Takes a boo. Oh, the pressure. Light of the day, light of the day, light of the day, What does IQ stand for? Intellectual quotation. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Jesus! <laughs> That's the line of the day. You said it so earnestly as well, didn't you? You really uh, meant it. Oh. He felt good about that. All right, we got to get out of here. Jim, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Absolutely, man. Thank very very fun. Thanks. If you want to come back. Very cool. Want to come back tomorrow, you're more than welcome. We're here. Uh, yeah, thank you. anytime. And we very good. Back. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Peace. Hi, on this. My name is William, and I like to wear dresses. R. Yeah. yeah. E. Goodness gracious. P. Yeah. A. R. D. <laughs> retard. <laughs> retard. Yay. Woo. B. Retarded. B. B. Retarded. B. Retarded. B. B. Retarded. Stomp your hands and clap your feet. Retardation can't be beat. You know, you know, you know we retarded. T A R D T A R D. Retard. Retard. Yeah. Woo. My name is William, and I like to 
with this is the art of the homo. Steve from Foundry. Also goes by the name Chest Rockwell. Smooth Lebanese arms. He's tantalizingly tattooed. A big buxom bear. Curring in every turn. <laughs> That's terrible. He's sorry. He may say no, 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 no. But you'll be saying yeah, 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 yeah. Chest shaved and smooth as a baby's bottom. <laughs> tantalizing turquoise rings. Martini steam. 